Like they you get depressed because of the leg. Leg. <laughs> You have to go to therapy. Yeah. It's your all... wife leaves you. Your kids <laughs> say, I don't fucking respect you anymore. Yeah. You fucking, the whole life falls apart, you know? Or you win. You, got, you get your wife back. Your kids. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want my opponent to die. I want to. I want to kill. I want to. I want to actually kill. I mean, them. that would be like yeah. relieving. Like if they just died, and then <laughs> you don't have <laughs> to. Compete. Like you don't have to. Like yeah. <laughs> just, whew, okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll do this in a week. Get me a replacement. You walk from the mat, just falls. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, thank oh he's God. dead. <laughs> what am I gonna do? It's a dead guy. All right, guys, welcome to another episode Indeed. of the Simple Men. We got Ethan Crellinston. It's your boy Nikki Rod with another one. J Rod, got J Rod. We got a guest, Pierre Olivier Leclerc. <laughs> Pierre Olivier Leclerc <laughs> just uh, went as French as I could. You know? Yes, that's it. Our very own GSP grappler, and we're about to have a good time. All right, Damien is gone Fine. for good. Uh, he got arrested in Jersey. Um, <laughs> I don't know why he won't tell us, but uh, he's in prison. Did he hit you up asking for? Asking for bail? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Damien's gone. I, he's in Jersey. He's doing something. He's up to no good out there. Yeah. No, he's probably with family or something. Isn't but he? Isn't he like? I think he's with his family. Like starting like uh, B Team New Jersey over there. Like grand oh, opening. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those yeah. are the grand opening. Oh, could I be. believe I, so. I think. I think so. I yeah. think I saw something. We, as that. his friends, we should know more about his <laughs> yeah. business. But yeah, it, it could be uh, the Grande opening. But uh, all right, so. We just had a big, big event. Dallas, ADCC Open. Yep, yep. The champion of what division? 76 kilo. 76 yeah, yeah. kg. Uh, subs? So six matches. Uh, yeah, run us through. Two, two subs, two decision, and uh, two by points. So really a big mix. So mm -hmm. all, a long day, like crazy long day. I, I think it was over like, well, Jay, you were there for... I was there for a bit. Jay like was from, cornering. Yeah, Nikki Ryan yeah. was cornering. Yeah, we left uh, at like eleven something. Yeah. Came back home at like two two thirty a.m. Wow, wow, wow! It's a long okay. day, and uh, yeah, um, crazy matches, man. Yeah. Tough okay, matches, so yeah. so before we get into like how you ended up at B team, I guess how like we all ended up at B team, right? Oh but, yeah, yeah. How, you know, Po, how'd you start? the jujitsu art yeah. the grappling okay like like from the early days like how did i start okay so um nothing too crazy right i was uh so i started pretty late i'm 30 now i started at 21 mm -hmm. and uh first gym ever walked into tristar gym and uh from white belt to black belt there good place to start so, yeah probably yeah, the definitely. best place around there to start oh in montreal it was for sure the, the best in place canada there. so obviously right. it was just like if i make a long story short um just interesting by mma I was in school at the time, and uh, you were married. Yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we could start. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> whatever you want. You know, you want to. Yeah, let's that. later. <laughs> yeah, we'll circle back. Uh, but uh, yeah, and just I was looking for a sport to get back in shape. You know, I always did sport as a as a kid, but uh, kind of stopped around the college, university. Uh, you know, where you start doing uh, some stupid shit instead of sport. And I know uh, the drill. yeah, I, know I was an MMA fan, so I looked up a few a few gym and uh, saw TriStar, GSP trains there. Mm. I'm like, that's the place I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. What, what you study? International relation, oh. like political science, like the kind of thing you study and you end up either at a McDonald or. Uh, jiu jitsu. President. Jiu jitsu. Yeah, <laughs> yeah or president. Yeah. Or like or working, president. Or working for the, like the UN or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> president of McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, that lead manager. Bro, I wish, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, I yeah. look, I I enjoyed it, but I knew like like the people that do well perform, right? Mm -hmm. It's a bit like jiu jitsu. Like if you do it for fun or if you perform, like you, you got to be passionate and do it a lot. So for me, it was like just I'm studying, but I, I like the subject, but not more than that. Then started jiu-jitsu, and I was like, oh, I want to give this more time. And yeah. then I met this guy. So, yeah, we uh, we were both like pretty – when we first met, we were both obviously like pretty early into the jiu-jitsu part of our lives. Um, we actually – Used to spar MMA. That's we true. both used wow. to, uh, yeah. We, uh, we did spar a few times, yeah. Yeah, a couple times, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And, this guy uh, was so, well, see his jujitsu? Like the way how weird it is? Yeah. Weirdness. Like it's just like weird. Yeah. The same thing when he spars. <laughs> same <you're> shit. Like, <laughs> you have like Bunch eight of limbs noodles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, going yeah. after you, but. Yeah. I had just a check hook and maybe a switch kick or something, and that's it. And I just hit. 
Did I had I absolutely could. nothing. I probably didn't have a shit either. Yeah. Louis, oh man, guys up there fucked me up, and I was like, I'm just gonna do jujitsu. This hurts too much. But anyway, we used to spar. We uh, we started way back in the day, and then uh, at some point. Both of us were just like, ah, I'm just going to do jiu-jitsu. I'm just going to compete. And then it sort of snowballed from there. I actually have a, uh, a story about go, that. Go, go. Let's so see it. Yeah. The way I, I stopped, like, so I didn't want to, like, fight MMA or, like, I just wanted to do it for fun, you know? And uh, one day I'm sparring, like, a Friday night, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm sparring this guy. And, uh, and who are you sparring? I'm going to tell you after. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know for so, sure. So uh, he's, uh, I think he throws a jab and I wanted to like slip and counter over the top with a right hand. And what happened is just, I slipped right into a straight and he broke my nose like completely. It went from being straight to like broke (laughs) like this, like bad breaks. I just like get hit. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? He looks at me and he's like, is your nose like that usually? I'm like, fuck, that's not good. Uh, don't <laughs> so like we that go question. in the mirror, and I'm like, it's definitely not like that. Oh, <laughs> like, man. It's bad like over fucking, here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bad fucking break. And uh, so I start panicking a little bit. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> you don't feel like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, but I, I just... Yeah, like, yeah. you don't feel your face. And uh, he goes to me, the same guy, and he's like, you want me to fix it? <laughs> like, oh. who are you? <laughs> and then Neil, uh, the coach, that's yeah. there... Tells me like this guy's a surgeon. Oh, it's this guy. It's uh, Seb. Seb. He did the guy who he... did my knee surgery. Oh, yeah. really? Broke oh, his nose broke and my fixed nose. it. Wow. He's and actually then... really good. He he's really good at striking <laughs> at <laughs> surgery as well. But <laughs> yeah. better at, at least... surgery than striking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, we're on the blue mats at the at the moment, and uh, and he's just like he's like lay there, I'm like all right. I'm going to do it, you know, because instead of like waiting hours at the emergency room, I'm like, let's just fucking Use do it. I don't feel anything. Yep. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Just grab his two thumb and goes like, <sighs> and I hear it like, just go back. I'm like, oh man, that hurts. Ugh. We go back in the mirror. He's like, looks better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, much better. It's fine. I look straight now, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a, I, I hey, got a little not as bad as mine. Not no, robot. Like, just fucking zigzags across my <laughs> mine face. Mine kind of looked like that before he got oh, fixed. Jesus <laughs> fuck. Did you get you any like follow up work to it, or you uh, just left it? I, it yeah, I left it like that. Yeah. I should have uh, like now because I have a deviated symptom a well, little bit. So no I can, but like on one side mainly. So it gives me trouble sometimes when I sleep, or yeah. uh, mm-hmm. it's pretty annoying. But um, he gave me his card after, and he was like, "Call me if you have any problems." <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Next thing you know, he did both my knees too. Oh, like wow. I had two meniscus uh, surgery. Oh, yeah, and he ended up. He's doing done the like, surgery on like fifty percent of Montreal. <laughs> like twenty <laughs> knees. Yeah, like, so many. Just did, at TriStar. Yeah, G- yeah, TriStar alone. GSP's wow. knees, my knee, your knees. Yeah, M- uh, meniscus, meniscus. Yeah, meniscus. Yeah. All right, yeah. So that's uh, that was that's why you stopped sparring mixed martial arts. Yeah, I was like, yeah. how hard were you guys sparring? Like, it was like a fight. <laughs> Too hard. Too yeah, hard. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, w- it would depend with who. Like me and Ethan, like not, wasn't not too, crazy. Not too crazy. But some adjust. guys, man, come some in, guys. and yeah. they're like, "This is my time to fucking shine." Yeah. And yeah, and you you don't know, and then they when you you're know. a beginner too. I I feel most people like don't realize how hard they go, or mm-hmm. like they, they get into a fight, they're tense, right? Yeah. But it shouldn't be like that. Yeah. I, I probably was like that a few times, me just too, like for sure. yeah, for sure. It's like sometimes you get into a, a grappling match and it's you're not punching each other you just go fucking aggressive knee slide or like uh t- whatever the fuck you do yeah. but like in striking you just smash each other's nose across your yeah. face and you end up quitting <laughs> mixed martial arts entirely you know well yeah and then uh, i i just i was like okay i can like drill and do and yeah like i can't spar so i was like i'm not gonna do pads you know i'm just yeah. gonna do jiu-jitsu i never did i never <laughs> well hit pads yeah yeah, yeah. I, there was like a few boxing classes. Remember that like other that wooden yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. Have you, you guys have never been to TriStar, right? No. Any plans to go? I've seen it on social media. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I had a uh, seminar. You were scheduled planning on going there, but yeah. COVID hit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. For moved. us, we'd love to have you. Mm-hmm. You told me several times. Like, yeah. Like you guys, like for sure, I'll could be down come make it happen. Yeah, for sure. I think it'll, it'll be, be good sick. turnout too. I think I would want to do like a Canadian tour. Yeah. Like I'm sure it's beautiful. It's a, yeah. it's a big room too, TriStar. So you it's can a have huge a huge mat space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Huge mat like space. A, over a hundred people. Over a hundred, yeah. Oh yeah, oh, I think so. Good. Yeah. Easily, yeah. Space, You'll yeah. sell out. Like Saturday, sure. sometimes during the class, there's like over a hundred people. In the yeah. Really? Wow. People yeah, stand there, and there's like, I don't know. It's probably like what do you think? Twice the size of B team mat space wise. Probably more. 
yeah. more than twice as wow. one whole mat or yeah, it's a couple separate mats. It's separate. Separate. there's like a yeah, red mat, blue mat, a oh, cage. Okay. Uh, but it's like all in the same room, so yeah. you see the other mats from the same place. Yeah, it's not I separated see, by see, doors yeah. or anything. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. But uh, yeah, so you stopped pretty much the same reason I stopped. I was like, I don't want to get fucking. This is enough. Spunk. Like I can't keep yeah. doing this, man. So um, nose so, yeah, injury be, before the brain injury. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's like, well, I had my yeah. share of brain injury from yeah. hockey yeah. and cycling. Oh, you guys have a story in common, actually. Oh, the collarbone, yeah. yes. collarbone brothers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had the bros. Same, same incident as him, but uh, really? on a, a road bike. Road bike. Yeah. Yeah. I almost killed myself. I yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you. You're, I, you I told think me this. You, this yeah. was in New York, right? No, that was uh, back home in, uh, in oh, Montreal. Oh, really? Yeah. Was there an accident that someone had in New York, or was this you? In New York? Mine was in Puerto Rico, and mine was oh, very stupid. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's, uh, but I New York, I don't know. Maybe it is your story. There's Probably a, my story, but it's story? not in New York. So uh, I was uh, on the road bike with a couple of my friends, and we're just, like, going, like, top speed, man. Like, I don't know in miles, but maybe, like, 30, 30 miles per hour, or, like, 25, so like 30, pretty fast, you know? 60-something. So more 40, I was thinking. Oh, 40? Is, one, is it 1.6 or 2.6? 1.6. Oh, 1.6. Okay, yeah. So, so like 30, yeah. 30 uh, average. And, uh, yeah, we're just on the side of a road, country road, going really fast. Only single day I was not wearing my helmet on top. <laughs> I hit something in the road, and I just go flying over my bike. Dude. Hit my head, front, back, collarbone explodes. And uh, I was <sighs> like, I didn't pass out, but I was like, I got up. And I was completely out because I started walking down the ditch for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Then my bro, my your brain just goes autopilot. Yeah, yeah. You're just yeah, like yeah. I. You know have when to you're walk. trying to fight the ref? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> you got knocked you're just, out. You're trying to walk the mountain for that no was, reason. That was, me. <laughs> yeah. I was going down the mountain. Wow, wow. And uh, my my feet touched the water, and I like kind of woke up there. Now I'm like, oh, that's where good. am I? Who am and I? And then I try to lift my arm. I'm like, oh, something's wrong. <laughs> and all my Man. friends are just looking at me like this. Dude, I remember hearing this happen and like I didn't I, I knew you and like we trained, but I didn't know you that well. I'm like, wow, Peo's gonna die. Peo died. <laughs> Did you see it happen or something? No, no, but I saw I came back to the gym. like you came back to the gym like a zombie. Like oh, really? you were oh, just super concussed, yeah. Bro, no no you <laughs> <laughs> he didn't and walk back. To the <laughs> I walked back down oh, the ditch and then went straight to the ditch. No, 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 no. Like days later, you came back. And someone, you said he's an autopilot. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta I go, to go train. train. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm just sparring at six. Your friends are like, dude, go to the hospital. No, like days went by, and I think Tazo was like, bro, Peo's fucked up. I'm like, <laughs> hearing this story, I'm like, oh, he's gonna die. He's, he's not gonna make it. Your bone was like sticking out of your skin. No, no, man. not that, not that bad. Like, no. <laughs> this guy is exaggerating. He's like, this guy was dying. His skull. Was fucking... <laughs> yeah, I had my brain sticking yeah. out. <laughs> so uh, yeah. no, but my my collarbone was like broken, like flush, but it kept touching. But I rebroke it five days later in my sleep. Uh, yeah, wow. great, right? Just so, like turning over. Yeah, they told me to sleep uh, sitting. I don't know if they told you that. Nah, they went my like my first um the first time my thing was the first extra I got they were like oh you're good just you know just chill for six to eight weeks they didn't say anything really like they they, they said oh it, the, it's the best case scenario it broke on top of each other it's just gonna yeah. wrap wrap itself up and, and yeah. heal they were like oh cool. it'll heal so much stronger and then that's what they I told me to, yeah I went to someone else and they were like. Yeah, you need surgery. <laughs> Shattered. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it, was, it was in like four like big pieces. Yeah, yeah so yeah, I didn't yeah. get the surgery and it rebroke and they still didn't give me the surgery. And so I end up having a big ball instead of like the collarbone, like where it, it like, calcified. Yeah, like, yeah, it calcified. Oddly, it's like yeah. oddly. And, and it gives me trouble, those three fingers. Like, Nerve damage. Driving yeah. or, or if um, like just sometimes like I'm sore from training. Those three fingers go numb. Still, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, oh, it gives wow. me trouble, and like my upper pec can't like flex as much. Like so, if I try to engage it, it doesn't really. Wow. Yeah. The, yeah it's so. He's stupid. basically oper operating at like seven percent. <laughs> his maximum. Yeah, my, my whole <laughs> my whole Just career. imagine, you know, J when J Rod uh, broke his collarbone, we go to the we go to the ER and. We're both like looking at YouTube videos how to fix a collarbone, right? <laughs> and, and one of them was like, 
like we we were like we're not doctors we're like oh it might be dislocated right <laughs> you can't dislocate it because no, right? it, 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 it was like breaks. it was like peeking yeah, up right he had this big knot it was like peeking up a, like through the skin mm-hmm. not, not through the skin but under the skin you know a pretty there's a visible bulge, yeah so yeah. he lay so Jay lays down on his back. He was like, "Yeah, can you just push it in?" Oh my I was like, <laughs> and I was like, "All right, well, just lay down." I was looking at it, and right before I go to push it in, I'm like, "Let maybe we shouldn't do this." <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I don't you know exactly saved, what I'm doing. Saved his arm right yeah. there. Yeah, he was like, ah, just, "Imagine." He was just like, "Ah, push it back in, and we'll fucking go home." For, screw this uh, hospital. So, imagine you would have pushed it back in. <laughs> imagine the feeling. That would have been hurt. <laughs> so fucking painful. Um. I've never, that was the first bone I've ever broken. And everyone's always like, oh, when you break a bone, like, you'll know because it's going to fucking hurt. And I broke it and it didn't hurt. And I was like, I was like holding it up, but I was like, it was like excruciatingly painful. It was like numb, kind um, of? I'm not numb. No like, it, it hurt. No, no mobility, but it's just like, I was just there, like chilling with my arm in the sling. So I was like, there's no way this thing is broken. <laughs> and then I pull the shirt off and Nick's like, Oh, we should wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You had some oh, stuff man. peeking under there. Oh, oh you're man. good now. You're you're like pretty much back to training. Yeah, you're definitely. We're all. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what Jay did correctly is I think he waited the proper amount of time before he started training, and I think because of that, he he like kind of started where he left off. Didn't where develop I, any bad habits. Yeah, that I unlearned. That where I, I, yeah. I went back a little bit sooner than I should have, and I think I made some bad habits where I had to like relearn yeah. a few mm-hmm. things, and then like you know then start learning and getting better. Yeah, from there. yeah. But I think the fact like we were saying uh, when we were talking about it is like the fact that you got the surgery probably probably helped. Oh yeah. To get yeah. it faster because mine was really long. Like the calcification process is so long. Yeah. And uh, I came back to training and hurt myself a few times. It, it took like yeah. six months. Probably oh, really? like training a little bit, getting like kind of feeling yeah. weird and like, oh, I shouldn't and getting more x-rays. And it was like, oh, it's not completely calcified because yeah. it doesn't touch wow. itself. Wow. So wow. It needs to, to like rebuild yeah, that yeah, bone exactly. matrix thing. That's why mm. I have a big bump here. I don't even know? think I had my surgery six months ago. I think it like it's like four or five months ago. No At way. It has been six months. At this point, yeah. Already. It ha- it that's crazy been, no because no, no, is that it true been, Do you think no. it hasn't been that long but what's even crazier is that you only rode that bike twice <laughs> <laughs> Do you only rode that bike twice that specific bike yeah that's a no yeah. i think that was part of the issue are you getting used to it yeah because the oh so you just have was, to keep riding <laughs> <laughs> that bike was full suspension and i was used to the old bike that i had it's too bouncy which was um it was just a hardtail so it was only suspension in the front mm. so it's kind of it kind of all the bumps on the road like slows you down so i'm used to like pedaling a oh, certain speed you glide over and when then it, yeah. with the full suspension you go way faster easier so i'm like going mm. way faster down this hill and i'm like oh i'm a little bit higher than i normally am right oh, now oh man I'm fucking fucking hell man yeah, yeah. just don't cycle like don't, don't yeah that yeah. that shit's so even, fun even like but even riding a bike without jumping is as dangerous like it can be like with traffic and like i've I've got a few close calls because I live in the city, like in Montreal, and yeah. I was riding the yeah. bike like pretty much every day almost uh, during summer. I got hit by cars to oh, like wow. went over bar, but like got really lucky, wow. like flying. I had yeah. a backpack, you know, flying back. Jesus, because people like sometimes they turn, they don't look, they yeah. don't. Yeah, dude, and McGregor got hit by a car not too long ago. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so <laughs> for sure, like you gotta imagine you kill McGregor, <laughs> like <laughs> going thirty accidentally so, kill McGregor. It's more than oh, ten God. points. <laughs> yeah, that's a 10-8 right there <laughs> uh, yeah I think it, it can be dangerous but it's a good call good. You, ever, you ever mountain bike like in the trails or I, I've done it a little bit yeah. but never a lot my, my dad was big into it for like yeah. years he did like 10 years he was doing like races and stuff like that did you ever get hurt like, uh, no never mm. no which is crazy but um, he would like do like crazy races but we got a guy at our school hurt, yeah. Austin that um, he's, oh, from, yeah. he's from like Calgary yeah, yeah. and and yeah, he said he grew up like riding mountain bikes, and specifically he was racing them, like you know, trying to become professional. And uh, was he doing downhill? I think he was doing downhill. That's yeah. crazy. That's downhill is that is so he was, like, jumping and shit. Yeah, and he, he told me that he got to the point where either like he was going to do these huge gaps and like do backflips and tricks and stuff, or he just wasn't going to nut up and, and go that hard. Oh I was God. like, that's still a pretty high level to get to. And yeah. I was like, you ever get injured? He was like, 
no, I've had a bunch of like close calls, calls or... close calls where yeah. he bounced up. Yeah, uh, but he never like broke anything else. Like, I've wow. seen a lot of injuries. Like, cause uh, I was a uh, as a teenager, I was working in a bike shop for a while, mm -hmm. and uh, we had like a lot of people doing downhill, and one of like one of them broke his uh, his coccyx. His cock. His cock. <laughs> his cock. He came in and cock. asked you guys what to do. Is that, is that is that a French name? His or coccyx. Is... Yeah, like coccyx. Uh, sit, sit sit bone. The sit bone, like your tailbone. Ta tailbone. tailbone, yeah, yeah. Oh. Coccyx. Coccyx. All right, <laughs> <laughs> break his cock. <laughs> Broke his fucking cock, man. So yeah, his tailbone, like yeah. from falling, like yeah. he took a turn and like got a flat right before a big jump. Oh, damn. got the jump, but offset obviously, yeah. and just fell on his ass. Jumping <laughs> is, <laughs> jumping is so satisfying, but man, but it's if you miss risky. it, yeah. Even if you're off a little bit, like, is it worth it? Is it as good as it feels? Is it as like which is worse? The which is more worth it? Or I don't know how I'm saying this, but is it is the joy of the jump as good as the badness of the <laughs> crash is? Well, if like, you're good enough, you don't crash. But honestly, it's it's like satisfying. It's euphoria. Like when you're you're, you're flying, flying, you're yeah. flying through the fucking air. And, That's pretty. And yeah. sticking a landing too is like yeah. oh, it's a good sorry. feeling. I, I've I, never never done that. Like I've yeah. never. I've done it mostly like skiing. That. Skiing, like, I've done it. I yeah. like hitting big jumps and like yeah. just flying, man. Yeah, it's such you're a just good, and you're yeah. going fast. It's such a good feeling. I think the safest way to jump is like on a jet ski or something. You like mm. land in the water, yeah, and shit like that. Probably out of a plane with a parachute. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Depen depends who folds your parachute. That's true. Sure, yeah. yeah. You ever see the like where the the wind like turns them around oh, and they, they fall into the parachute oh. and then you're just like <laughs> you're done you're i'm supposed to done. jump you the parachute <laughs> 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 you're saying that i'm like yeah <laughs> fuck have you have you guys seen, like you know what i'm talking about though yeah, yeah, yeah. i know what you're talking about okay yeah, yeah yeah so i don't think i would i don't think I'd go. you never gone skydiving I would go skydiving I, maybe i would maybe possibly Go skydiving if I was I went with like a bunch of professionals and I was the first yeah, one. You to have pull. to. You I have pull to. I pull mine my, my shoot in the plane. Far, yeah. <laughs> far <laughs> earlier than Get everyone sucked else. Into the yeah. fucking propeller or something. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much that could go wrong. Yeah, it's definitely Yeah. Maybe towards the end of life I would like jump out of a plane. Like as a suicide? No, I was like ninety <laughs> I'm like ninety years old. Oh, okay. Like, like yeah. if you die out, uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. just to check the box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The final box. J Rod, would you uh would you skydive? Um, nah, I'll stick to mountain biking. <laughs> what do you think is safer? Skydiving. Skydiving? <laughs> yeah, Probably. Really? Did mountain bike? I mean, yeah. who's, I mean. If you skydive for 10 years or mountain bike for 10 years. I think you get more injuries. <laughs> you get more injuries, but there's one injury from skydiving. That you, Look, and it just takes a, one injury. It only takes one. <laughs> but we, uh, where I grew up in New Jersey, there was this like a skydiving place maybe Oh, in yeah. Williamstown, the town over, and they'd have somebody die every single year. No way. Every really? single year, yeah. No fucking way. Nope. Yeah. And they keep it open? They keep it open, That's yeah. crazy. Kind of like, you know, you're you're jumping out of a plane. I mean, what do you expect, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Up, bad. Yeah. Up, yeah, to well, exactly. Yeah. up to people to do what they want, you yeah. know? Like, you want to jump, jump. Hmm. All right. So you guys had the same injury. Yeah. We start up a trash. So let's get back to, like, all right, so we we opened up B-Team. And then now you're with us at B team. B team guy, yeah. When Fuck I visit, yeah. yeah. So home is TriStar, but I try to visit B team a few months per year. You teach at TriStar? Uh, yeah, sometimes, but I don't have a fixed schedule there. It's mostly I train there, mm -hmm. so it's my training gym, and I mm -hmm. teach at two other gyms in the city. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, and I'm there like pretty much almost every day. We got a good group of up and comers more and more like blue purples yeah. brown belts are like just open up tournaments up there again finally yes finally jitsu is legal again it was the only place it wasn't it was illegal for like five years yeah, yeah for in real Quebec. Yeah, yeah really only place in the world so yeah. we started it's like pursuing jitsu as a career yeah. and we could compete like fucking like you could in jersey back then like in your you know you drive like 30 minutes or an hour and you're at the venue in your own you wake up in your own bed it's the greatest thing ever we do that in montreal like remember i take the bus sometimes to yeah, like go to the same. college go compete it's the best yeah. thing ever and then uh i don't really understand why but it got illegalized for some bullshit it was two promoters like waging yeah. war on each other for like because there was a like an old federal law long story short uh, of prize fighting you're not supposed to do it and, yeah. and unless you're like an olympic sport mm -hmm. so the police getting called over and over they were like all right it's fuck like, this shit we're gonna shut it down yeah 
and then it, they just basically ruined it for everyone. Oh wow! Everywhere in Canada, it all got back within six months or yeah. or a year. Yeah, we can but Quebec, like it took right fucking five years. Yeah. Wow, that's nuts. Bureaucracy at its uh, finest. Yes, yeah. terrible. So, but now it's, it's back. back. Yeah, and uh, first event is going to be in July, I think. Uh, we had like two events already, like uh, kind of super fight style yeah. in TriStar. Yeah. One at TriStar and one in uh, Magog, which is a okay. small, a smaller city. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And um, and now the tournaments are starting again, so it's good for the up and comers. Because yeah. imagine like five years, yeah. like you you get blue belts, let's say or purple belts that want to compete, but you got to tell them like, oh, spend a thousand dollars to go in the U.S. to yeah. m maybe lose yeah. your first match. Like, Be great, sucks. my brother, man. He's like, he can't get any exactly. competition experience. He can't like, you know, that's a great example of it. But yeah, yeah. there's a good team up but there. But we. Uh, when we started competing, I started a bit right a bit after you. Uh, yeah, we were lucky. We could just like go at the fucking c city college. Yeah, get your matches in. You get grappling industries grappling like round industries. robins. You get a ton of experience. Grappling it's industries actually started in Montreal. It's a yeah. Montreal brand. And David Aguzzi. It's all, yeah, it's all yeah. over the place. And uh, yeah, we could just compete. So like, dude, if you would have like exactly what I said, if you would have told me like, oh, you got to spend a thousand dollars, I'd be like, oh, I'm good, you know. Yeah, just, I don't, you, I don't you know you if I wanted to first. do that. Yeah, you know, yeah, at yeah. first, I I never competed in a. I competed in like hockey and other like team sport, but never uh, like an individual sport. So I didn't know if I liked it. And I remember my first comp. I was like, I, I got hooked right away. I was like, oh, Where did is. you first compete? It was a SAU at um, a College uh, Vieux Montréal. Okay, that's and, uh, sick. At T Taza, I actually, probably did I do that one as well? Yeah, I think uh, so. For yeah. sure. You and Taza and yeah. Taza actually convinced me. We were training more and more. You know, yeah. I was starting to like get to know you guys. And uh, Taza told me like, uh, oh, "Why don't you compete at SAU?" I'm like, uh, "Never thought about that." Yeah. I'm like, I guess I'm gonna do it. Fuck it, do it. And from there, it's uh, that's where it started. Yeah. And then I met. Uh, well, I met like uh, Nikki, true uh, like Gordon. Yeah, Gary, yeah, yeah. Eddie it was Cummings. around then when Gordon. Or when Eddie came up, so Eddie came up first with Gary. Were uh, you do, were you training? Yeah, I was training. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I learned a shitty outside ashy, but enough Sick. to win. You like, became the leg lock guy. Yeah, for a while he was the leg lock guy. Everyone yeah. else was like doing you know normal jitsu, and then leg locks became a thing. And you're like, I'm the leg lock. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. I went like, I remember, I'm the leg lock guy. And then yeah. every time I would train with Theo, I'd be like, Oh, the leg lock guy. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> here we go, leg lock round. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like it's so funny because this weekend. Uh, this competition, ADCC Dallas, I got like two, my two submissions were two Aoki's lock, like just ripped it, like broke, yeah, bad break on, on both. And uh, and it's like a setup that I used to do at the blue belt that I kind of brought back. You're bringing it with back. The, with there the short go. hook. I'm like, still the leg lock guy. I'm yeah. still the leg lock guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, with a short yeah. hook. I know you yeah, mean like Yeah, outside. exactly. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just got two six admission. Something yeah, nice I was doing man. as a blue belt. Nice. So, 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 yeah. I think you're uh, I think you're probably one of the best 50-50 guys like Thank in jujitsu. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah That's uh, sure. definitely becoming like your thing. Yeah, unfortunately, I kind of like I've been doing it a lot in the last two years because I, I used to hate it at first 50-50 because I, I thought like like why would I be there you know like the guy can attack me I can get attacked or I can attack him but then I was like okay I'm gonna put myself there like try to get better at it so at least I have like a system when I get there and then the more I did it the more I realized like it's not easy to just right like jump out of it right mm -hmm. cross ashy you can kind of roll and explode out 50-50 mm -hmm. you gotta play the game so like let's say it's a big strong athletic guy like you mm -hmm. if I put or you in 50-50 yeah, <laughs> uh, I feel at least you got to play a little bit of my game mm -hmm. before you can just get out. So I figured like if I play this game and I put the guy guys there, maybe I'll get a chance to get heel hooks. And, and I started getting more finishes. And uh, But it's just I've done it so much, it feels like now I don't want to do it. You know what I mean? I've done it too much, so I want to do like passing. I want to do other yeah. things. Yeah, I feel like you start to get really good at one thing. You... <laughs> you go to it a lot and then you kind of like you hit the spike in it and then you start like it kind of peters out and then you're like fuck this kind of you know like guy will defend it here and there yeah. you're like i think i should go back something else and then you you go and then you come back to it and then you get another like little jump in the progress yeah. there or something um you have a website you have yes. a subscription base so like people can uh if you guys want to know about like the 50 50 game like seriously you're like crazy good at cashing the heel inverting through um and i feel like it's coming back i feel like 50 50 was kind of hot for a bit and then everyone 
semi figured it out. They started stopping it, and now it's like there's an abundance of grapplers like, out there that really don't do legs still. They never went through it. Never yeah, they never it. went through like the leg lock craze, you know. And they're I wouldn't say they're just well, they're they're probably like a little behind. Like people used to be. You yeah. Know, so and you feel it in tournaments so, yeah. too. Like yeah. sometimes you get onto someone's leg and you're. Like you just feel it right they away. They stiffen up and they're like, yeah, they, they try to legs. run yeah. and not necessarily like they don't understand maybe like the position, what they have to do to get out of it. Yeah. And uh, they and can't sit in the pocket and counter. Exactly. And then, yeah, yeah. They're not and safe. Look, there, yeah. most of my finishes actually in competition are from countering people attacking me. Mm, it's yeah. not from my own entry. So somebody time, else enters yes. your legs. Every time mm -hmm. someone enters my leg, that's where I get the biggest finish rate. Uh, I think that's the funny thing about leg locks is that like if you just go straight to 100% defense at, at 50 50, um, you're probably going to get subbed. But if you start countering to escape or counter to yes. offense, yeah. that's, that's how you have it's success. Your match with Gordon, like totally you didn't, you didn't yeah. just freak out and pull back. You like count you fight back and then as he pulls back for a sec that's your that's your window like you know says, you, you, gotta, you gotta play that game once yeah, yeah and you played it in yeah. that match yeah. like you like exactly you didn't freak out you were like okay you, you know you're in, in danger pocket. but yeah. like you ended up having the better of the attack yeah, because sure. you actually went like i can play this game now i'm comfortable yeah. there yeah. Yeah. and that's that's the thing i i tell people sometimes like they focus so much on defense they forget that a good offense sometimes is a good defense too because mm -hmm. If you separate my legs and start attacking me, I have to now go from trying to separate to defend. Yeah, and then exactly. as soon as you go into defense, then they could negate. They could get out of there anytime they want. Yeah, you know? yeah, and then, yeah exactly. So yeah. it's like Mayweather. Mayweather is a you know king of defensive boxing, but he still has that jab that sets everything up. You know, so it's yeah, a like gets yeah. gets the exchange going, and yeah. then a little yeah. bit of offense goes a long way for sure. So, yeah, so if you guys want to understand that, like, it's pretty much the cutting is edge of jiu-jitsu. Is it like an OnlyFans you're doing? And, uh, yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, there I did. <laughs> See? Feet picks. Yeah, yes. Yeah? No, so uh, it's, uh, I actually have, it's like a Patreon style a little bit. So I do both languages. I do in French and in English. Mm. Uh, I started the website two years ago, and uh, it's my own website, um, my own branding, and I, the idea behind it was like, all right, nothing exists really in French. And French, I'm sure all your listeners are realizing how bad my English is already. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Better than our French? <laughs> that's, well, better that's than, a lot sure. better than our French. Uh, my French is not that. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I was like, that doesn't exist, so I'll do it. I'm like one of the well-known grapplers in Quebec, where I'm from, where it's French-speaking. So... I, uh, I did like one year and a half of like content just in French, few instructionals, uh, uh, weekly content. Every like every week, there's new videos that get on there. And then in the last few months, it's been like a good six months. I started in English too, so I do both. And so every week, I upload three new videos, mm -hmm. like classes on different subject, and you can like go by subject. Let's say you you want to learn some guard guard work, right? You go in guard, and then you see oh, half guard, butterfly guard, and then all the videos Subscribe. like. Subscribe. Yes, come on, you can subscribe. Soon, all right, <laughs> all right, and uh, yeah, it's subscription based, but um, yeah, it's been working well, and I think it's good. Like I, I said, it's like you just like I'm not. I don't have the biggest brand. I'm not the most well known grappler, mm -hmm. but if you build every week, and you get known more, you win some stuff, and and people start the content's to, already there, and then they could jump in. People can just and, jump in, yeah. and and the value you get at the beginning, or like in a year. It's like exponential, right? If you if you start with me, it's cool. You get value every week. But if you start in a year, you got the year of value behind the videos. It stays and, there. Yeah, and it's a and, database yeah. that's like I have a hundred of hours of video already mm -hmm. on my on my oh, website. So, so it's yeah. like you go and compete. You hit these subs. People want to see it. Go check it out. <laughs> subscription. Speaking of, I hit yeah. two AO keys that don't appear on Flow Grappling because I was out of out of bounds. No. Yeah, uh, well, and I yeah. I didn't get anyone to film. I'm stupid to be honest. Like I should have asked someone to film my my matches, but. Uh, those setups are on my website. So if you want to get go. good at leg locks and anything else. And if my, you watch the match and you want to see what happened. Just go on my website. Yeah, just go yeah. on the website. Yeah. There you go. Hell yeah. There you yeah. go, man. Yeah. We got um, we got our own stuff coming soon, right, with B-Team. and Yeah, uh, Submeta. Some, yeah, Submeta coming yeah. out. So we're going to try yeah, to Just a uh, sub, Submeta, for those of you that haven't heard, is going to be yeah. a, a B-Team subscription-based website where we just load up tons of content, tons of like yeah. match breakdowns, tons of roll uh, rolling footage, yeah. uh, in in-house Q&As. So hours and hours of stuff that uh, will be uploaded. Yeah, I we're think that's the best, man. I think, yeah. like, and the value is there for people because you can pick and choose what you want to learn. Instead of like... For sure, you can pick and choose an instructional, right? But like having 
a database to go back to mm -hmm. and just being like I want to like learn how does Nicky Rod does his like his passing his body lock system the greatest system <laughs> but you know Roddy what lock. I mean like yeah. <laughs> the Roddy lock exactly but or like you can explain by breaking down I think the value is there for sure yeah, yeah. it's great that you guys are doing that yeah we're going to try and get enough content on there so like you said like at the beginning it's like it's good value but the longer we have it up there and it just yeah. it Keep backlogs it and there's uh there's four of us so it's like it's gonna pick up pretty quick and uh i think it's gonna be huge honestly i think it's it gonna be, huge, be yeah. substantial yeah I think well so. with the b team brand and all you guys being successful at what you do like i think it's just having it in one spot like it's a no-brainer for most people yeah 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 and the people that are subscribed are going to be like our are like number one fans you know like they're, they're not going to be like average uh viewers they're going to really be invested i think yeah. at, the, at the beginning it's going to be like the diehards but the more it's out there the more people get driven there from youtube like the sport is growing and yeah. the pool of people that want to look for something to learn is growing with the sport so it's yeah. like the other thing too is you guys have different fans you have like the same fan base but every one of you have like your your fans like that yeah. likes your Craig's style. got a lot yeah. of gay fans for yeah. example I'll get the lifters you get the little people yeah the small yeah. guys yeah. <laughs> he gets the brainiacs yeah and Craig's get the LGBTQ yeah yes yeah. Fuck. perfect dude yeah. we've sold so many Keef Jiu Jitsu gay shirts dude, I am I heard shocked her. but it's absurd what the hell who wears that dude. no one I don't know if they're wearing it but they're just they're like buying it. <laughs> yeah they're buying it yeah. it's sick are they yeah. hanging it up or something they're like Oh wow! It's, it's like the number one uh, driver towards our website and the number one seller. It's how by far. Yeah, I want to know how. Like, yeah. I don't understand. That's amazing. It's, like it's just Craig like clicking the link over and over. <laughs> he's like he buys them off. Craig's like he's such a good product. <laughs> 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 I'll That's show fine. them. <laughs> Dude, oh, he was man. supposed to be here today. Build on us. I know. Yeah. Well, we so got Craig next week. What'd, so, you, uh, what'd you do to him? Yeah. I heard some stuff. I just gave him like I gave him instead <laughs> of forty percent, I gave him like fifty-two. And he couldn't. <laughs> no, he uh, couldn't handle it. What, what'd you do to him, man? Uh, Little, we, just a little, little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little squeeze. All right. Well, he'll tell us next time. No, but we have a good question. Uh, who's stronger, Craig or Nikki Rod? Craig. The thing is, <laughs> Craig. Okay. Wait. Right. <laughs> Can I answer yeah, it before? Answer All right. It. Craig. <laughs> I, I think it's Craig. So, it's so but easy. But I know but you're it's gonna, a different type of strength. It's a different type of strength. Yeah. And also, your answer is, I'm, I'm not going that hard. There we Craig go. Craig uses all of his strength when yeah. he rolls. Is that why he gasses I use out? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there you and go. I have great cardio because I just use technique. <laughs> I'm flowing. This yeah. guy's out here trying to smash and hurt people. I'm flowing. <laughs> That's the mean. That's why pe people think that Craig's stronger is because he uses all of his strength, and Nicky Rod uses his athleticism, but it's, yes. my nimbleness, yeah, <laughs> suppleness. <laughs> Craig Supple. cranks. That should be his Craig fucking cranks. <laughs> Craig cranks. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, Craig, cranks Craig, and he wanks. Craig, Craig cranks. Two and wanks. things, all right. So different type of strength. Yeah, you're definitely more explosive, and Craig is like just he's like a, a wrench that once it gets in place, it doesn't move. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like you can give him an inch. Even just the simple things like hand fighting. Like if if I'm on top and he grabs like a wrist, like I have to remove that grip immediately. Yes. Or it goes immediate. Fast. The longer he grabs your wrist, like the the tighter the grip gets. It's <laughs> yeah. horrible. Bro, I, I remember when <laughs> once I had a. Uh, I think last year I competed like in February at the Austin Open IBJJF. Yeah. I won my division, but uh, my ankle like popped a little bit in a match. I think I rolled it a little. Oh, bit. I remember. Nothing that. too crazy, right? It's just a little bit sore. I get I get back to training on Monday and I roll with Craig and I'm in 50-50 and he just grabs the toll. He grabs it and my ankle just goes like, pow! He looks at me like, I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? He's like, I didn't even touch it. <laughs> I didn't touch it, mate. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I, I don't even know what you broke my, over. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Bro, he was showing us that fucking uh, straight ankle from, oh. from outside. My foot hurts. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, tap, sure. this hurts. He's like, oh, I'm not even fucking submitting. He you doesn't yet. realize it. Like, are you? He doesn't know how strong he is. No, no. exactly. He doesn't. He's like, he literally like like a kid who doesn't know how strong yeah. he is. He like, fuck. like his straight ankle. It doesn't. It's not even that good technique. He just is so strong. <laughs> crazy strong. Dude, I wish I was like that. Oh, I'd be so man. sick. Imagine just you could grip, just like, I have no grip, take this man. cup and yeah. just. Because <laughs> oh, you're a collarbone. 
That's yeah, exactly. That's the reason why, yeah. So, yeah. 7%. No more nerves, just, man. Yeah. I'm just operating at 7%. That's all I won this weekend on 7%. That's it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm, good, I'm at good, like good a negative 12. Yeah, good matches. Yeah, really. So first matches with a B team member, a teammate of ours, uh, Roman. Roman. I got to shout him out because he gave me Bro. the toughest match of the yeah, day. Really? So I had six matches. First match. Listen to this, all right? He starts. We start. I pull guard. I He's know your first match. First match, yeah. So we had a, a fuck up with the bracket, and we could have been moved, but look, it happened. Mm-hmm. And I know Roman, and I know it's going to be hell. Because he's cardio king, always move, good wrestling, and good impossible. Hair what's that? Good hair, too. Good hair, uh, too, yeah. And, hair. and I'm the opposite. My hairline is receding <laughs> nonstop. So you that puts pressure on that. me, you know? Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm, I start the match, pull guard. He gets a buy lock on me 15 seconds in. I go to like kind of extend and go into a sweep, and I just pop my rib. Like oh. it goes like crack. I'm like, oh, fuck, that's going to be a long match. <laughs> so that's how it started. And then we had a crazy war. I like almost finished him with a triangle. Couldn't kill the kid. He slammed me. <laughs> he slammed me out of the triangle. <laughs> yeah. Bro. He, and he got, so he got bumped up a weight class. Yeah, he Roman, did. Yeah. 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 He's always smaller than me. A weight class. Yeah. Like he's like 155. Yeah. He's like crazy. 155. I'm like, I cut weight to get to one like 76 kilo. Yeah. So I'm like a bit bigger. I was like probably like 15 Same pounds away. him. No, it was day before, so I cut oh, like good. seven pounds of water. Oh wow! Yeah, I didn't diet. I just did a, like a water load cut. If you're that close, you water water. Yeah, and good, it's yeah. day before, it's fine, you know. But um, so I yeah, it's put my rib. We had a crazy war. Couldn't finish him, and he he was he was attacking a bit more more initiating, I would say. So I like when it was time for the judge decision because we both didn't score. I swear, and I I told him after I was like, it could have went your way, and I would have been understanding like yeah. he, he he would have deserved it why do you think they gave it to you uh so i asked the ref after because i was like bro he was initiating a lot but he said like uh yeah but you were initiating some some attacks too and you had like really near submissions a few okay, times okay so, it was so a like the triangle that... and like the the belly down uh 50 50 uh, inverted yeah yeah the inverted the yellow hook um so uh that's good how they judge that heavily because that i think like you, if you do more damage to the guy yeah, you know, or you're closer like, to submitting him. I think that's that's uh, yeah. outweighs the. How it's come just, he wasn't able to uh, body lock pass you? Did you do like a sumigashi? He or? actually at the beginning he passed me because I like I went to move and I was just like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> my, my 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 rib cage. So he kind of passed me and then I recovered, mm-hmm. but then uh, after for the other body locks is usually what I do is like I get like a strong overhook and a posture to the side and I start off balancing the guy yeah. a little bit just so he, he posts. Then I can open up other attacks. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, but he's like, he's the guy that he keeps moving, right? Yeah. So, uh, but to go back to like the decision, I, I just yeah. feel like they always tell us ADCC is like who initiates, initiates the most and who's like more aggressive. Like, aggressive. Yeah. So that's why I didn't know um, how it would go. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's hard to, it can't be perfect. I feel like we talk about the rules all the time, but like it's kind of, it's really up messy. Up to the judges like, in a way, yeah. It's up to the judges. They yeah. have to know what they're talking They have to train. They have to be, like, aware of what yeah. the process is through the match. Like, a guy's going for all the attacks, but he's not getting anything. If one guy hits an attack, he gets close on a sub. Like, yeah. what weighs more? So, anyway, so. How, was, how were the judges in the ADCC Open? Um, I think they were, uh, they were good. Uh, I heard some stuff from the other Opens. I think in... Um, I did the one in Ottawa, in Canada, uh, not too long ago, too. And I think they did a good job. This time, obviously, I won two decisions. So I'm like, well, they were good judges. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but uh, I, I thought they did a good job. I don't know overall what was the idea for everyone. I guess we'll kind of see it if there was, like, some missed call I, I or think, shit like I that. I think they were doing a lot of, like, overall, they did really good. But I feel like one thing, at, like, with this specific Open that I don't feel like was similar to like trials was um like they were given they were not giving people negatives mm. i feel like they not were enough stalling uh, really, calls there's a lot of stalling not oh, yeah. a lot of stalling going on but when it was happening like, they, weren't they weren't heavy were, enough on they the negatives weren't heavy, like, i agree like some, some of the guys were just kind of letting it happen college like, wrestling I, they I, hit it with a negative like you take three steps back it's boom yeah, negative yeah. Like, i think i think negative. that's something yeah. that adcc was doing well at trials like west yes. coast i remember yeah. like i got some some warning calls because i was like wow. kind of chilling in the yeah. guard a little bit like to try to like you know pressure but this time like i had guys i would go forward from the guard from seated like i would advance 
The guy would just like shove me, go back, shove me, go back, and they and wouldn't. No, and they yes. wouldn't give any warning. At some point, they did, but it's like it's six minutes. It's super short. You got a warning right away. Yeah, it should be. And, yeah. and as a guard player, when I'm going forward, I want the guy to like come in. Yeah, That's the whole guys, point. Yeah. So if they warn him, warn him, he's gonna take steps in, and then I can start playing my yeah. game, right? And then the whole so match had, is more entertaining. Yeah. And, and so more, my more my second happen. decision, which was my fourth match. That was like that. I, I kept going forward. The guy would like not engage too much and like try to get a scoop grip. Couldn't pass my guard, go back. And uh, I felt like more stalling calls would have maybe given mm. me more opportunity to to go and maybe sub. At least they're on it for trials. They're like, and for sure at yeah. ADCC, they're pretty diligent yeah. about it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, overall, man, it was uh, it was it was tough because of the rib. It wasn't too painful after. But I remember sitting in the chair, and I just told you that before. I was sitting in the chair after my first match, and I'm like, first thought, which is not good to have as a competitor, was like, well, if I lose, like I'm not even doing the consolation bracket, you know. I'm like, I was like out of it a little bit. And then, and I was tired too from Roman just going crazy. Bro, Roman, <laughs> fuck it. it. He's a he loves the battle. I, I yeah, like yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. a dog man. He trains real. with yeah. you sometimes. Yeah, he's, I do dude, some rounds. Yeah, yeah I, I. You can't do that with Craig because he tries too he hard. You <laughs> break your shit left and right. Yeah, but for real, like I respect I Roman, and and like I knew it would be like that, you know. Yeah. So so I sat there and I'm like, ribs fucked up. I feel like shit. <laughs> My life's falling apart. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I'm just like, all right, one match at a time. So I get my second match and I just break the guy in like a matter of a minute and a half. I'm like, oh, that's You that's pull good. guard? Pull guard, yeah. Because yeah. I was like, I'm not, re I, I wrestled a little bit. I hand fight with him, but then kind of took a single leg. And I was like, I'm not going to fight it too hard. Pull guard. Took me down, but pull guard. And then I finished a Aoki lock in under a minute. I'm like, all right, this is good. Yeah, it's a good start. And every match it would get better. And my my mental and my physical, well, physical, I took some Advil too that helped. Yeah. But mentally, I was like, you know, getting better. And my last match, the final, was the best match of the day. Yeah. Because I felt mentally, I was like, I'm gonna fuck this guy up. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm there now. Like I fucking did it. I was. Sometimes in tournaments, having like the best guy first is kind of like a a good thing because you're if you get you're the freshest, you can go to war the hardest earlier. And then you know it gets easier after that if you yeah. get you get that top seed get the early, toughest you know? part out of the way. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, I'm I'd rather have them later because I'm yeah. like I'm I'm like that. Better, I get yeah. better as the tournament goes, yeah. especially if I have everything like well hydrated, yeah. electrolytes, like uh, carbs. You build momentum too, like you yeah. And, get and a mentally, I feel win, every yeah. match. I'm like, all right, I, I start believing more in myself. You know, yeah. like did even you, more. Did you have like a a ritual that you do like in between matches? Um, mostly in between matches, I would like, like sit and I would make sure because I made the mistake in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. I, I got fourth because uh, my last match I felt like out of like gas because yeah. I had five matches back to back really really quick and I felt like I, I didn't take any. I took electrolytes but I didn't take any carbs, mm -hmm. and that was I think one of my biggest mistake last time. So this time I was like really getting sugar in like uh, this guy I had, drinks like, sugar seawater. Right before, uh, yeah, I'll, Dude, do, I'll do some Gatorade. Gatorade with salt in it, pretty I much. I think that's that's it's that's more like salt goal. with some Gatorade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's salty, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I think it's good, man. And like in between, if you're gonna have six matches during a day, you need those carbs in between. So that make sure I have that, and then uh, I would just sit, relax, put my my playlist on from time to time. What, what kind of carb? Through. Like, would you do just the drink, or would you do like a bagel? Like, like. Uh, so I'm I'm not good with the stomach when yeah. I compete. I'm a bit up, my stomach is upset, especially yeah. after the weight cut. I it was tough to get like uh, food in. Yeah. So mainly Gatorade, and I had like some um, kind of a pouch that's a powder like uh, electrolyte and carbs together. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. And uh, I would like if I had enough time, I would eat a little something, but just like. Like kind of those fruit granola, bars granola bars and yeah, yeah. I, I like uh, I like him. I go over this in my um, in my pre match ritual, like mm -hmm. uh, instructional. But on fanatics, on fan BJ fan fanatics. Yep. Uh, so pretty much in in between matches, and I learned this just throughout competing in uh, my hundreds of wrestling matches, and then obviously jujitsu. But in between matches, as soon as the, my first, my match ends, <clears throat> I'll do a cool down. So it's like a like a jog. I'm um, sorry, like a jog sprint, like I'll do a couple of sprints back yeah, and yeah. forth uh, to get that lactic acid out. That's smart. And then once I once I stop, I'll uh, hydrate with a little bit of water. I'll do the 
the Gatorade with some like good sea salt in it, and then I'll nibble on some fruit and honey. And if I feel necessary, if I feel like I need more carbs, I'll have like a couple of bites from like a bagel and maybe mm. some butter on there. For carbs and fats are good, yeah, you know. Yeah. And and that's fat, it. fat so doesn't uh, fuck you up, like digestion wise. I, I think if it's yeah, I think like I'll just them. dip the the. A corner of a bagel and some butter and like yeah, yeah. you know i think too much of anything is not going to be good yeah, for sure. but uh it'll fuck me up it'll fuck you oh up yeah, yeah. like f- i feel fat. like one molecule of fat i'll be like oh, i'm cramping yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. really Maybe it's in my head but like, yeah uh, fuck, um, i don't know but uh, uh my coach like for us because i was asking him for some um advice because he does so many weight cuts for the guys in the yeah. ufc right so i was cutting water and like i was asking him some advice about it and Pre, pre-match and it was saying like bagels a really good thing because it's a high glycemic index yep. I think yep. you want like it's no just no fiber just like a fast burning yeah, white yeah, sugar yeah exactly fucking, I yeah. just in between matches I find it hard to put hard food in my mouth I, sure. I just like I feel heavy right away yeah. so I need like almost an hour if I have an hour between my match I can eat a little bit yeah so for me what's been working is like uh, the carb drinks but um, I think if you can get some food that's the best for yeah. sure for sure for us his brother just uh had a fight not too long yeah, ago. oh just amen big right. knockout under big a minute knockout. uh no i don't think so i, I would say like two three. two minutes in first yeah, round. first round so the guy was kicking a lot right and uh who's and the I, opponent uh mongolian dude like uh genghis khan genghis, genghis khan, khan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah he came back from the dead and, the uh, genghis khan yeah, <laughs> yeah cut to 135 <laughs> No, I think his name was something like the Mongolian murderer or something Jesus. like that. Like, it, it's scary. He's probably got real. gained this blood in there. Probably. For He's sure. He's got For like sure. a thousand yeah. kids. Probably yeah. More, yeah. You know? yeah. Everybody has probably some Genghis yeah. blood in there. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a period where any, everyone had Genghis in them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go on. Good. <laughs> uh, um, and yeah, he, uh, man, he knocked the guy out. Yeah, like the guy was cold. throwing a bunch of leg yeah. kicks. He, he like... If, uh, if, so he fainted like a takedown, like like going to the, the leg, leg, hit with the right, stepped in. The guy was like going back like this, and then he hooked right on the chin. The guy fell. Then he got on top. He walked off for yeah, a second. Yeah, he walked he off. Cracked him. The guy, he could have just walked off. Could have walked KO, off. The ref was like kind of going in. He goes like this, and the ref goes back. So he's like, all right. Fuck oh, yeah, and then two yeah. more, and then the guy was out so bad that mm-hmm. when he got back up, he was like, he got ready to fight again. He thought oh, the yeah. round, like the fight was about to start. Wow. He's yeah, like, I'm that's... ready to fight. And probably doesn't speak very good English. So he's like, yeah. what's the problem? Yeah. I'm ready to What's fight like, yeah. it's like you just got knocked out buddy yeah, like, yeah so let's go again good for amen because he, he's uh, I yeah. think it was it was like two years last time he fought a year or two years it's been a long time yeah. so it was good yeah. to see him back out there and uh, he's a hard worker yeah and that's at 135 he hits hard man crazy hard yeah he I has don't a few knockouts he on his, uh, makes 135 like he hits like a truck it's crazy Jesus man yeah do you think that yeah. um Cron Gracie ever fights again Oh man, I I hope not. That was a no, bad but one. like, not. I hope not. But look, it's funny because I actually helped uh, Charles Journey for that fight. Oh really? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I was, I was doing yeah. the, the camp with him. So they they because uh, we're we're both in Montreal. So uh, they wanted to. They were kind of smart with their approach. They said we don't want like wrestlers that know how to wrestle really good. We want jujitsu guys. That are gonna try to wrestle like a jiu-jitsu guy, right? Yeah, like yeah. bylock shit and like put on the cage pole guard and stuff like that. So I went there every Thursday for like five weeks, mm-hmm. uh, help him out with some stuff and just try to beat the shit out of him basically That's for five weeks. What and you have to do, man. Five weeks is enough to bro, get a really good like base, you know, yeah. just don't get submitted. Exactly. Like and yeah. and Charles is like a good learner and he's uh, he's willing. He's very willing. And uh bro, in my mind I was like I think he's after I was like I think he's gonna be good yeah, and, he's and safe, the yeah. thing is like what bugs my mind is Kron had two three years to improve change his game completely and he just showed the same fucking thing he does there was he nothing he probably wasn't training at all that's what I'm thinking yeah. he was he's, what was he doing he, apparently like he moved to in the mountain. I think he, he had some like issues with drugs right oh really I don't know I don't know for Are sure are you but... starting a rumor <laughs> <laughs> google it don't hit <laughs> smegma <laughs> <laughs> All right, never mind. Fucking don't take my word for it. But take my word for it. <laughs> that sounds like you're just like, oh, you had drugs. Someone told me. Like, who's someone? Damien. I blame Damien. <laughs> <laughs> Could be him. Could be him, yeah. Fuck. Um, I don't know if he anyway. has drug issues, but uh, I just, apparently he's, uh, for that us, told me he's it. like, he moved somewhere in the mountains or Montana maybe or something like that. And 
he probably didn't train for real. He was just like in the wilderness. Did you see him in the media like stuff? He was just not. Did you see his fuck. interaction with Cejudo? Yes. I, I didn't see that. What oh happened? man, he was. <laughs> it was. I mean, it just made me kind of dislike Crone. He was like Cejudo was like there. There, you know, when they sign the, the poster posters. and they sign the poster and they move it, sign the poster. So Cejudo is there signing them, and uh, Crone walks in to sign like across the table from Cejudo, and. Uh, Fuck, Cejudo says something like just nonchalant, like a joke or some shit. Crone gets pissed off, walks away. He's like, I'm, I'm, wait, tell me when he's done. I'm not going to fucking uh, wait for him or something like that. Maybe it was because Cejudo's signature was taking longer than his, maybe. Now it's that I'm. Triple C, triple trip. <laughs> takes triple the time. <laughs> triple C, fucking. Something like that. But it was but really. He like, has a weird attitude. And to shitty, be honest, he has a shitty yeah. attitude, man. Like, yeah. calm down. I don't know. It's fucking. It's just. It's a bad representation of what jiu-jitsu is in MMA. It yeah. shouldn't look like that. It could have... It should look like... Like, Damon Maya was a good representative. Yeah, Aljamain. Like, Aljamain. Um, Khabib. Yeah, Fucking yeah, exactly. sa Sambo, but it's it's grappling. It's yeah. high-level, fit like, physically yeah, controlling it's like, guy it's using a, grappling. It's mixed martial art. Yeah. You don't go there and pull guard, you know? Like, Ryan is a good example. He does pull guard, but he does, like, crazy stuff that puts him in He was making where, it work. He was getting yes. submissions. Yes, Some, exactly. DJ Penn, you know... Yeah, I was I was uh, hoping for more. I was like, shit, like but, this but, is a, a Gracie. This is the main Gracie's son. You know, yeah. he could have been, he could have like really carried the torch. Yeah, you know? but, but the thing is, maybe like, another time. Maybe it's like you got to improve because a guy like Shal is, he's out there and he's like good at everything. Yeah, and he's a he's a he's a motherfucker out there, man. Like, yeah, he beats people up for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you can't just have one tool now in the in the no, UFC nah, martial arts. Nah, it's not gonna work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, what division is that again? One forty-five. Wow, that's 145. Yeah. Damn. It's crazy division, 145. Crazy. Yeah. I feel like one yeah. All the every way. division right now is Arnold. crazy. Arnie! Arnie Dude, yeah. another TriStar fucking. He's back at TriStar. Yeah, he's back you at TriStar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was there when I was up there in, oh, uh, yeah, true. like a month ago or something. Yeah, yeah. Ago. So yeah. Uh, Arnold Ar Arnold Allen, he had AAA. a match with Holloway that was like crazy. Yeah. I don't know if you guys saw that. Crazy war recently, yeah. yeah. Uh, he lost, He's but... like, <sighs> Jay, man, he turned it up at the last second and then fucking... <laughs> You know, he's doing well. Yeah, a bit, yeah, a bit too late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he still lost. Still lost. Like, yeah, yeah, he still yeah. lost. <laughs> Fuck. God damn. Yeah, yeah Federweight's a Dude, crazy Dude, Adam yeah. Bradley was popping uh, John Carlos' knee. No way. Yeah. Yeah, so Tell us, you guys both saw this match? I didn't see it. I was watching. You were, you were watching? Outside How did it go down? So, Let's hear it. So, so just to get, like, the introduction is, like, John Carlo decided to jump in the... 100, 100 kg kg division last minute and his first match was adam bradley yeah yeah i remember I seeing it because i was somewhere. like yeah, on, on the side like touching my ribs, <laughs> I'm like, am die. i gonna do it <laughs> my collarbone but, uh, jay you saw it yeah i watched it How all was right the match like yeah. overall um it was a close match um which was surprising but um man it's like he had him in a really deep outs outside heel hook from 50 50 um, or cross ashy. I've got. Couldn't tell you. Fucking Dude, John would have outside Sumigashi. If, if he lost, they'd be like, yeah, I don't know. It's imagine that's crazy though. I'm surprised. Adam, yeah, I mean, look, not like to talk shit on Adam Bradley, but you would think Giancarlo fucking 188 I mean, kg. Yeah, that's yeah. That's Come on, you know. Yeah, I'm 80 yeah. champion. Crazy. All right, so ups and downs. Yeah. There you go. Why? <laughs> well, Say it. I physically looked the same. I'm just gonna say that. Did he physically look the same? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. he was, he was he a big was, boy. Yeah, big boy. Yeah, hundred kg. He, when he joined the, I heard he joined the the weight class thing. I was like, oh. the first thought I was like, do I have shorts in the car? <laughs> hey, can I jump in? <laughs> Dude, you should have jumped in. That's nah, such a bro. good point. No, nah. it's a. I wasn't like, bro. Mentally, you're you prepped. Know, you have to mentally prepare. You for are that. prepped. No, That's, no, no, no. Well, competition look, mindset is God. him. Him <sighs> saying that he wasn't like yeah, he, he just tells you like he's like I thought different. about it, but I'm not. I'm not ready. Yeah, you gotta want you it. Like Giancarlo probably wanted it. Yeah. like because he would like, have that's... not done it. Yeah. No, what I'm you think? with you. All right, oh, I want to know what do you think? What do you think? Is that is that a thing? Competition mindset. Like, I mean, are you ready? For me personally, I, I agree like with you. I have to be mentally pre prepared to. I would like that as come. well, but I would say that sometimes my best performances are when I'm not prepared 
in my head, but just in my body. Like I'm training all the time. Yeah. We're training all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just kind of, you have less time to stress about it. That's how I would look at it. Like I haven't been thinking about this. Like, oh fuck, I got to blah, blah, blah. The stress of the like leading up to it. I'm just like, oh fuck, I'm here. All right, yeah. I'll grab some shorts. Like you said, well, you know? I think, so. I think that say you just like tomorrow, like tonight, somebody's like, oh, like Ethan, you want to come compete? And, and they give you good money. You show up, compete and you have a good performance. I think you would have a good performance. I think you have a good performance because your baseline has gone up significantly. I think if you also took six weeks and planned out this specific opponent, how you're going to attack it, then that performance would have would have doubled, tripled potentially. I think, uh, and I also think that some people <clears throat> have these hefty ups and downs because they get burned out sometimes. Oh yeah, like like push some, the gas too hard. They competing. I believe yeah. in this. Like yeah, you, I you believe take, I like believe you, that too for sure. Like you take a guy, you know, that's from you know up north and. They, he comes down south and links up with a real team, and he's training at every single day, seven days a week, all year long. And then, you know, before you know, it, he has good success. And then afterwards, it's like he's maybe he's falling behind because his his mind isn't in there. You know, he might be yeah. doing the same shit every day, but his mind isn't like, oh, how can I c continue to improve? Like staying, staying. Uh, You're just trying to stay up afloat. You're just trying yeah, not to yeah. drown in there. Like, yep. Sometimes yeah. trying to keep your baseline. Uh, does does you a disservice as opposed to trying to get better wood? Yeah, I I, so I see that. With that I see that. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was about to say like overtraining is real. Like that exists and it fucks you up mentally. Yeah, yeah. Like I've been there. I'm sure you guys have been there too. Like I've been there many times. Like I've just like wanted to push, 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 push all the time. Yeah. Do more because you're like you're competitive, right? You want to be better. You yeah. want to do more. You want to get stronger. But then at some point that does you a disservice, like you said and. It's like I've You've had the candle I've both had w so many times weeks of competition. That's like when I was a bit younger, like uh, more at the beginning, where I would push myself so much I would get injured the week of the competition just because I yeah. overdid it, and my body was like, "All right, let's see." So if you didn't know you were competing, you wouldn't have pushed this hard. Then boom, someone hands you a pair of all shorts. Right. You're like, "All right, <laughs> all right, <laughs> thanks go. for the thanks for the shorts." <laughs> As a counter argument. It's like no now no. <laughs> once you're mature <laughs> and you're Mike. not <laughs> yeah. it. It's like now that like you have more experience, you're more mature. You know how to prepare without yeah. going too crazy, and you for know sure. you got to be fresh for the comp, and not the opposite of like. Because I know I'm not gonna get that much better in a small amount of time. I can just make sure my timing's right. I'm in good shape. I'm healthy. I want to perform. That's a big thing, wanting wanting yeah, to yeah. go. Well, you and that you got to prepare. Yeah, for yeah. sure. But then there's incentive in life. Like if I tell you like tomorrow, like uh, you want to have a match with this guy 50K, uh, maybe you'll put the short on because there's money incentive, right? <laughs> Jeez. He's like, yeah, I don't need that mindset. Now the mindset is like, oh, I'm going to make money. So it depends. Uh, there's there's different parameters yeah. for sure. It's crazy. Um, at trials, no one last year, no one's getting money. Uh, and at the opens, people are getting paid for the absolutes. How crazy is that? The ADCC has a brand. trials now? But I, I would they, expect it. They would have to pay the trials. Yeah, if they're, they're doing, doing the opens. opens. They're but gonna, the thing is, yeah, they pay the absolute, so. just It's just the absolute. Oh. Trials should have an absolute. I got money when I did trials West Coast. Yeah. Um, what the Mo, fuck Mo do had I have some... to do to get yeah. paid? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you didn't? You Only won? fans. I want trials I didn't get paid. Uh, really? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get paid for trials either. Call You guys right are now. getting paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> you guys getting paid for this? Yeah. Um, really? The West Coast was huge. There wasn't a. Ca I thought there was. Zero dollars. Maybe someone got your money, bro. <laughs> Zero dollars. I got paid from a but sponsor. Nice. Fucking hold on. How did the match go? Let's from uh, Adam Bradley and and John. All, all of John Carlo's matches were close. He got like. So he he, got, he still won gold. He won, but he got like one or two subs. Out of. Six matches, seven, yeah. maybe like four. four I think. Um, okay. I think he, he might have might have gone two. I'm pretty sure he got one sub. Um, but um, Adam Bradley entered his legs and entered his legs and cranked then, on a heel. Uh, cranked on a heel. I don't know how the re how the rest of it went. Um, but uh, another match. Well, Jean Carlo must have scored at some point. Or yeah, came back. Yeah, I, I think it was it was in overtime, I believe. It went um, to overtime. Bro, he had a, multiple matches go to overtime. I can check. That's crazy. Multiple I'm matches. Curious. Um, but uh, oh, what one match he was fighting uh, a guy that I trained with back back home. Uh, he, he's a pretty good, tough wrestler. Do I and, know? Him? Um, Maybe, like in Jersey? No, yeah, in Jersey. Yeah, uh, his name's uh, Daishi Goto. 
Daishigoro. Daishigoro, yeah. Cool oh, yeah, I know who that is. Yeah. He's good. He's really? good. Um, but uh, super close match with, with John Carl. I don't know if it was overtime or or regulation, but uh, All right. he made like a, a small mistake, and, and uh, John Carl ended up getting two points for like uh, this guy like kind of pulling, I guess. Okay. But The man. Adam Bradley match went overtime, and uh -huh. he scored two, so probably a takedown, I would yeah. say. Okay. Um, that's how it, that's how it went. Wow! Imagine, but then at ADCC Adam he was Bradley submitting beating, everyone, like with all the shit talking. Oh yeah! So imagine Adam beat yeah. Giancarlo. Woo! Yeah, but it did not happen. But it didn't yeah. happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> that's still a good perf. Like, congrats to fucking Adam Bradley. That's yeah. a crazy performance, man. Take take Giancarlo to overtime. Yeah. Um, I wonder how bad it was on the leg, like the heel. I don't know. I mean, he, he, he didn't seem too bad. You never, he was walking around. Yeah, exactly. You never know because people – yeah. No, it was outside apparently. Oh, it was outside. Yeah, that's what I read. Evolution. I saw the stories of oh, yeah. like okay. uh, Adam Bradley, Gordon talking shit, obviously. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, and it was an outside heel hook, but it's just like – you know how it is. Like you say so, you broke someone's leg. It's not ah, broken. You never it's like know. Maybe yeah. you get a pup. You know, yeah. and what is a pop? You're fine the day after. So yeah. be, we don't know. Nothing, yeah. Maybe tomorrow, uh, today he's, he's in pain. Maybe he's not. So it's hard yeah. to it's hard to say. But it's still crazy. Crazy that he entered crazy. like last minute like that. Yeah. That is, yeah, that is that's that's cool. I thought that's there was cool. a registration cap, like a certain time limit. Yeah, but if there. if you're like like Jay could have entered, they yeah, would have they would have fucking totally for have. sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they want high profile people for sure. Yeah. yeah. Should you think they could toss him some cash? No. Nah, no. Nah. I doubt it. How do you compete for free? You just that's just. Our wrestlers do it like I, fucking I, Jordan yeah. Burroughs. ADCC champ though. Jordan Burroughs oh, has yeah, competed yeah. for that free, right? True, yeah. Are you saying, oh my god, or are you just yawning? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm responding. He's definitely making money off of that yeah. somehow. Uh, like, that, yeah, yeah, sponsorship. And yeah. Sponsor, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. so, but like the he still paid a registration fee, right? For like the an, like the U.S. Oh, yeah. trials I mean, or some shit, right? Yeah, but sponsor probably sponsor. Pays. for that's sure. Sponsor. So yeah, that's it. Your sponsor's gonna pay for it. Your sponsor's gonna pay for it, right? Yeah. Sure. But it's 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 true though. As as an ADCC champ, like competing for free. Yeah, I, I agree with that. In this but sense. I not, I mean not maybe that I'm the fucking ADCC champ, but you know. Yeah, you don't know about no, it. I don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe he just wanted to do it, like, and yeah. he has he has Had the will to do in it. His car. <laughs> yeah, he was like, oh, let's just do it. Yeah. They're fucking, fucking big, a hundred hundred kilograms. That's 100 like two twenty. That's two twenty. Yeah, yeah. two twenty. Fuck <laughs> that. That's big. What do you weigh now? Uh, I'm like two thirty. Two thirty. Two thirty. Some change. What about you guys? Where are you at? 174 right now 74 yeah. yeah like 185 you 55 <laughs> yeah tiny 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 i got an offer to do a bare knuckle mma are you serious i did is this yeah. real like yeah they offer me like gordon oh, oh <laughs> yeah, that'd be good man that'd be good money too I would you do it more. Would I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gordon so Ryan. We've had this. Yeah, we've had this discussion. Like, do you yeah. think? Do you think he beats Gordon in an MMA fight? Yeah, yeah. Especially if we have yeah. time. I to think. Train for I think. It. Like, yeah. yeah. I think the the the, the style you have, like, he would look like Kron, he would look like Kron out there trying to pull. He guard would and never him. take that yeah. in a million years. I think he might. I think he's a, he's overconfident. So you think he would take? I'd like to see an MMA some, fight with you. Bare knuckle though. It's boxing, right? It, um, no, bare knuckle MMA. Oh, bare knuckle, that exists. That's so sick. It's, it's coming to fruition. That's Are you gonna you gonna do this? Oh, I, I'm just saying they offered me, okay. you know, so, um, uh, a good check, but it wasn't enough. I mean, yeah, you got to think about everything you have to do to do it, plus the damage possible. Yeah, like it would take me. I would have to and, commit like six <sighs> months of my of my year to to this, do the fight. And, and do you want to stay the prettiest of the brothers? Yeah. <laughs> They said I could pick the opponent too. It'd be like you know some some gym coach somewhere, <laughs> <laughs> some <laughs> dad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pick the opponent. <laughs> so just goes in the street. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's like, no, 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 I don't. Want this. <laughs> I, would like, like, I would take like some doing. influencers, some YouTubers. So. That would be good. Oh yeah, good, yeah, that would sell. Maybe like uh, a strongman, like when some of those guys are like yeah, 200 yeah. pounds. You know? Punching real slow, so yeah. you can fucking. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with the sound effect. <laughs> Just want to take a quick moment to thank our sponsors, Massive Supplements and Violent Hippie. Use code 
Simple Man, all caps for 15% off both of those companies. Massive supplements, trademarked Smash and Greens, Smash and Reds, very nutrient dense foods. I personally use their creatine and BCAs during my workout and sometimes even before the workout. For Violent Hippie, they have soaps, USDA, CBD oils, t shirts, rash guards, you name it. Owned by former Navy SEAL Mitch Aguiar, use Simple Man to get 15% off. Guys, Violent Hippie, massive supplements, get the smashing greens, smashing reds, all the vitamins, nutrients you need to get that body that you want. Natty Rod style. Bro, sure. our round that's, was... That's good. Oh, been, man. I've been thinking about it for... We like, the just past. had the most ridiculous... It was like uh, eight minutes straight. The round was 10 minutes, but it was eight minutes straight yeah. of just, we were just flipping back and forth, up, down, left, yeah, right. Yeah, drilling? Was like Drilling? Was it a drilling session or was it? No, no, no. no. This we was trying, we were trying to kill each other. Trying to kill yeah. each other. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. train with Roman. It's going to be yeah. like that. Like, really? Yeah. Yeah. He just keeps moving. It's sick. He, yeah, it's did you hard see to kill what he and, tried to yeah. do to me? I didn't. I was I was Man. missing out. I was coaching other just, just Dude. Train with him. I had to coach Bobby. That shit <laughs> Bobby. pissed me off. <laughs> How did Bobby do? He did pretty well, man. Bobby did, did well, but then one one match he gets... We should like, go through everyone's sort of performance that yeah. we can. Yeah. Um, Bobby gets subbed by this kid in like 10 seconds. Who? I don't know. Is it, uh, I, I've got no clue who his name is. Um, Jet. But he, Jet? Jet something. Lee? Yeah. No, he, he competed oh. at uh, like B-League one time. Oh, I know you're talking about. Kid, like Je- yeah, 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 yeah. He's Did good. he get uh, yeah, like good. a fast ankle lock or something like that? Something like that. I, I don't know. But whatever it was, Bobby's like, tap, tap, tap. And as he's getting up, he's like holding back a smirk. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Why?" I know exactly. No, he's like trying not to laugh. Why like, would he laugh? Though? That's what I'm saying. He's I'm like, Bobby, why are you here right now? Up, man. Like, go, go home. Like, you shouldn't be competing. That's weird. Like, if you're laughing about getting subbed, I'd be so dude. pissed, man. He's that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm like <laughs> contemplating life after. I oh get yeah, subbed. I'm with you Especially guys on the submission yeah. in tournament, brother. Man. A quick submission as well. I told him, I was like, what do you really want to do? You want to do comedy or you want to be the best you can at you too? And he was like, I want to do both. I was like, yeah, I'm, t- I'm saying p- if you had to pick one, yeah, yeah. Can, what would you rather do? He was like, yeah, I think I'll do jujitsu jitsu till I'm like 25, 30. I was like... I was like, all right, Bruh. I don't know. You got to have a plan, you know? His jujitsu is comedy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. I That's think it's rough. good to be good Man. at a lot of things, but, like, yeah. if you want to be a specialist, you really have to focus on You have on to one, devote one yourself. Yeah. yeah, you have yeah. to, like, make sacrifices. You have to cut other stuff out of your life. It has to be your main thing, yeah. Yeah. But to Bobby's credit, he had seven match. And lost twice, basically. So he had the consolation bracket, right? And he still went he on. He competes seven match. a lot, also. Like yeah, every so he, week, so Thursday he had night, he's five win, yeah, five wins, and uh, like some submissions. I wish I knew what was going on. <laughs> Is that what he's laughing? He's like, "Fuck, that came on fast." <laughs> like some stupid yeah. shit. He's just not. It's like you said. Like he, we need to win. Like we can't not win, you know. When but I was, he uh, doesn't give a shit. When I was he's, growing up, and like does, in the but... growing up in the wrestling world. Um, especially specifically my club coach Siegel, Siegel's Wrestling Club in you know South Jersey. Um, he would bring in like other coaches that have special teeth, and one of these coaches special what special? He was a specialist in like he was a wrestling coach, but he, okay. had, he was a special teeth. You know what I mean? He had, he had a special. I don't think that's a word. What? Um, Say that it's again. My word. Special teeth. Special teeth. Special specialist. Yeah, specialist. Spe- he's a specialist. He has a special. So if you're a specialist, Whoa, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what? If you if you're a specialist, <laughs> yeah, you, that means yeah, he's a specialty. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah. I wish Damien was here, bro. Oh man. Anyway, wait. Anyway, so, how do you spell look, it? As a as a as I'll spell it for a, you. As no, a guy ju- as a guy that's his second language is English, I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Specialties. Specialteast. A special test. Oh, a special test. <laughs> special tits. Speed test. That's what came up when I typed it. Speed test. <laughs> All right. Anyway, who gives right. a um, shit? He's Don't a specialist. It. Yeah, he's a specialist. Spe- yeah, he's a specialist. Specialties. And one of one of his one of the specialists was a uh, a mindset coach. And okay, I think yeah. sometimes what a lot of jujitsu guys lack and miss is like how to attack competition, and how to tra- attack the weeks prior to the competition. Um, I think like sometimes. 
sometimes like you want to get the submission. I think you have to learn how to kill before you can learn how to flow. And people be out there flowing. You know what I mean? Mm. They treat like matches like it's a fucking like it's a dance, and they're flowing. Yeah, they will look pretty. No, like you're when trying re- to kill this when man. really you yeah. you really got to try to kill this guy. We were we touched on this. Uh, I don't know if it was last episode or a couple episodes. I remember we were like, no, we have to have the intent to kill. Oh, when we were talking about an MMA fight, the intensity versus an MMA f- or versus oh, a jiu jitsu yes. match. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And we're like, an MMA fight is more dangerous, so you get more hyped up, so you get that like kill or be oh, killed, yeah, at, you know, yeah. atmosphere. But jiu jitsu is like. It's hard to get that. He's not going to punch me. But if you, you treat know, it like that... Then you may then, perform better. It may yeah. bring out that dog, yeah. you know? I, so. f- I agree with you, but I find myself having a hard time getting into that mindset. That sometimes intensity. I f- it, it feels to me like I'm almost lying to myself sometimes. You know what I mean? But, but you're not, though. You just have to find what's, yeah. what's real in it. Because the reality, if you go out there and do something wrong, this guy's going to break your leg. He's going to break your arm. Yeah, you know, you're gonna push you to sleep, make you make you go unconscious. So, I mean, that's life threatening to me. So yeah, yeah I know like what that. you mean. Yeah, it's life threatening. It's like career altering in some cases. Yeah, like for in, sure, in the high profile. Dude, somebody, so like, if you, you break somebody's yeah. leg, they're they're not the same. Yeah, they're you, you change the the path of their their life really, like they're you know to a certain extent. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, are, are you sure about that? Yeah, look, let's say like they you get depressed because of the guy. leg. You have to go to therapy. Yeah, it's your all... wife leaves you. Your kids <laughs> oh, say, "I don't fucking respect you anymore." Yeah. You fucking the whole life falls apart, you know. Or you win, you go, you get your wife back. Your kids, <laughs> your kids come back. Dad, you're our hero again. Oh. You fucking get the promotion at that job. You fucking, you know. So you got to win. You got to win. You got to win. If you don't want <laughs> life alteration. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think but the, so that's perfect. Like Bobby doesn't care that much. So it's like he gets up. He's like, fuck, you know, that's yeah. that's funny to him. Like but to it's us, weird. it's like, that's insane. It's weird yeah. to me. Like I really care, but sometimes my best performances is when I don't overthink about caring. You know, I'm, I'm not yeah. thinking about what I could achieve, but mostly like, Okay, whatever, like the outcome is fixed already. I just got to do yeah. my best. Determinism. That's what I, yeah, and that's what I think about all the time when I compete. I, If I care too much, I become too self-conscious in my matches. Yeah. And then I have like a, literally a conversation with myself while I'm having a match, which is not good. Yeah. And I'm like. I have that. Some, some it, it happens in my yeah, bad yeah. matches. Like in the Roman match, I was talking to myself. I was like, oh, this it's is like, not. You know, you, wait, 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 you say, shut the fuck up, focus, something like that. Yeah, sometimes, like yeah. for real, I'm having a conversation and I'm like. Like, oh, this is shit. This is not going well. Okay, you got to pick it up. And I'm just like, yeah, shut yeah. up. Man. Yeah, like you start just overthinking yes. instead of just focusing on what you're doing exactly yes. right yes. now. What yeah. is it? What are you going to do right now? And going. what reacts, you know? Yeah. yeah, and and I find if I care too much about the prize or what I could achieve. The outcome. The outcome, it fucks my performance up. Yeah. So every good performance mm-hmm. I had was when I would just go like, next match next match like i gotta kill this guy like you said but to get into that mindset it's so weird to me i, I don't think i've mastered it already and i've there's been, a sweet spot yeah i've been competing for a long time not as much as i would like but i'm still learning i find i've been fucking nine years all, almost doing this i'm still trying to learn it's crazy to me like well, i don't have a perfect me, mindset i just like go somewhere else and i envision the like doing the most heinous things to my competitors really yeah like fucking like tell you get the angry? dirtiest fucking tell us tell us uh, just like dirty <laughs> shit like clubs and fucking <laughs> dirty shit dirty <laughs> filthy, <laughs> filthy. filthy. <Unholy. laughs> naughty <laughs> um, okay. illegal like like, like, like give us some get, example do you get just angry fucking no i don't get angry okay. at all i have no, like no emotion during competition but like i feel like i need to like a little bit of a wake up. I want to be mean. Yeah, I want to be. I want no that aggression. During competition. Cut to the scene of J Rod strangling a guy, going, oh, "Fuck you, yeah. oh, fuck you, yeah. dude." Fuck by the way, mom. that moment was. Yeah. I was oh, that's so epic, legendary. Yeah, yeah. One of my <laughs> that'll live on no, forever. Yeah. I, I keep I keep telling people I'm a fan of you, J Rod. Yeah. I, I swear <laughs> sure. to God, man, I'm a fucking sure. fan. You gotta say it. This is the place to say it, right? Yes. And you doing this, I was like. Bro, I, I saw like, that. I'm like, I want to do that. I'm like, that looks so cool. Anyone has a pair of shorts? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need shorts. I'm on a shortage of shorts. Oh, All right, man. so you unholy things. Tell us. Just like bathing them shit. in the water like of, of Christ. <laughs> Hard fucking clubs, you know. 
Okay. Throwing okay. someone around the fucking mat. Interesting. All right. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I still haven't mastered. Like I, I don't think I do that. <laughs> 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 I think I'm still like. I play. I play the match in my head. <laughs> I'm like. I've never competed against someone I, I didn't like. Like I don't not like. Yeah, people. but I mean, you ha I you know. have to like not like them a little bit to fucking. Do you? I feel like. I do you? Feel, I don't feel like. When like when I want to have someone. You don't like. What if we competed? <laughs> what if we're like an absolute? Hey, it's your it's your fucking buddy Ethan, huh? <laughs> or you don't like me suddenly? Can I just have a normal match? <laughs> there was there was like, a we have like the American Vision and Canadian yeah, yeah, yeah. Vision. We're like, oh, <laughs> chill the I'm fuck sorry, out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Both shirtless. <laughs> you guys are fucking chill. <laughs> Why are we matching also? How did this happen? Gold yeah. chain, black fucking t-shirts. What's going There's, on here? We get, we both got hit up by the same promotion to do an absolute tournament. And, oh, come on. And I was like, brothers. I was like, Nick. You got accepted, buddy. <laughs> if you do it, I'll do it. We Man? have to f fight each other. No, no, he, he's fucking Nicky Rod's too good. Too big now. Too, too big. Uh, too big for this. Yeah, too when I'm for when I'm britches. competing, when I'm competing, I I want my opponent to die. I want to I want to kill. I want to I want to actually kill. I mean, him. that would be like yeah. relieving. Like if they just died, and then <laughs> you don't have <laughs> to compete. Like, you don't have to. Like yeah. <laughs> just, whew, okay, I'll, I'll do this in a week. Get me a replacement. You walk from the mat, just falls. <laughs> be like, oh, thank oh he's God. dead. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do? It's a dead guy. <laughs> just start beating the shit. Rod's like, that was my plan. I would if he just fell in front of me. I would go for the sub. Like, yeah, you would. Yeah, <laughs> like, the clock is running. <laughs> Muhammad Ali, that fucking. Oh, Oh, yeah. Spin around your naked. That was, hey, that was just the clock was running. The clock was running. We've yeah. never spoken about that. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what you you knew you weren't supposed. <laughs> <laughs> you knew what you were he, doing. He knew, all right, he knew, I admit sure. it. <coughs> all right, ah, uh, here we go. All right, all right, so we run. We run out of bounds, um, and we go back to the center. Refs, the refs like next to me, and he was like. All right, go. The ref and, said go. Oh. The, ref, the ref's like, go. go. <laughs> Mom is down there. He's like waiting. The ref's like, go. Ref, <laughs> that would be fucking crazy. The ref's so, like, time on. All right, so my, <laughs> from my perspective, well, we go out of bounds. We get back to the center. And the ref, maybe his words are I different. I think the ref just said, <clears throat> <laughs> Maybe his words are different, but his hand, he did this motion like, th like this. I was like, all right, that means go. <laughs> Fuck, I and, uh, Yeah, he was just kneeling in front of me. I looked over. Time was running. I was like, must be go time. Time to go. And I was like, free one today. Yeah. <laughs> A free one. You thought to yourself, free one today. I was like, ah, stupid guy. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. The ref said go. Oh, man. Uh, the well. ref was probably telling you to like, Go there, and you're like, I saw this. <laughs> yeah. That means action. And then the ref comes back. He's like, Yo. I was like, Yeah, I thought you well, said. You told me. <laughs> Come on, what are we doing? talking about? My bad, my bad. You said go. You said go, <laughs> you liar. Oh, yeah, man. that was uh, the that whole. Was sick. Everyone was watching. Like yeah. it was like right after a crazy exchange, so, so all eyes were on that match. It was they good for the that. show. Oh, it was so it was so good for the show, dude. Yeah. And I yeah. had I had to throw him right at the end or to win that match. There was, was like the fireman, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fireman's carry with like. Fuck it. it was like by the time by the time I engaged him, it was like four seconds left. Throw you him. had to hit it something. To, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that was, was a cool the, match. That that whole run was simple, man. Just well, we're gonna bleep that out, but it was simple, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was insane. Oh my god, no one saw that coming. No one saw that. Coming. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was it was yeah. crazy. I barely knew who you were, and I was watching, and I was like. What's going what on? What the fuck? Yeah. When you when you hit a snap or on the Orlando Sanchez, oh, yeah, like yeah. right at the beginning, I was like, oh, oh man, gonna, yeah, that's yeah. gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> Did you sub him? I uh, know I didn't sub him. You got I, locked around at some point, dude, right? I got I got my hands uh, locked. To, yeah, I had I had like boots in, hands locked around the face, and I couldn't quite like. Get it? Just such a big head and shoulders. You know? R.I.P. Huge guy. Yeah. Yes. And then yeah. he like he like rotates, go belly down, and it felt like because I had boots in already, it felt like he was his weight was gonna break my legs. You just let the hooks I was go. Just let yeah. The hooks go. I'm like, yeah. I'm not gonna, yeah. So I, I feel like sometimes yeah, yeah. like the aggressive rotations. Like I'll just take him out. Like, Especially Jesus at three sixty, I was like, yeah. this is a tornado. Three sixty. Yeah. That's insane. Oh yeah. my that's god. A wrap around the earth right there. 
That is a 360 degrees. R.I.P. Orlando Sanchez. R.I.P. Orlando Sanchez. Yeah, he was fucking cool, man. He was really yeah, cool, really guy. cool guy. Yeah. Never Scrap met him. Too. Never met him? No. Had a few interactions Looked with him. Looked crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I never trained with him. Oh, what? Well, you competed against You ever trained with him? Nope, nope. No? I never trained with him. Uh, he came to B-team train once before his... Um, what? Before um, WNO match against uh, Tex Johnson. Oh, oh the, the tournament? Yeah, this was like after hours, though. Like I was know, in uh, yeah. Montreal. Yeah, yeah. yeah, was, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Man. Well, yeah, RIP. That's a sad story, I guess, but, you know, fuck. Is that a crazy life? Yeah, but I did. Uh, I didn't train with him, but I did a technique on him once. He was like, hey, show me a leg lock or some shit like that. Just taking, like, Ashy Grammy on it, it's like very weird it's For a sure. tree it's like a, it's like a yeah. body it's like someone's it's an body. entire yeah. body yeah yeah it's like I'm taking Ashy Grammy on a guy's like rib cage Trunks. ridiculous yeah. yeah imagine like trying to ankle lock that guy Simple. yeah yeah I just taken an Achilles grip I'm like this is <laughs> like this. dude yeah it was literally like like this I was like oh this is not his uh, bones are probably effective. a lot denser than other people's bones too because it's so much weight to carry around yes it's like elephant bones <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. It was, he was also like getting in shape near the end of Lost his like life, pounds, something, unfortunately. Something like that. But yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, like yeah. three sixty, two seventy. Did, did like he that. do the last ADCC? I don't remember. Yeah, he did, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah. He lost. Uh, Who did he lose to? Who did he... I don't know. Who he lost. That was the last time he competed. Probably, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah for sure. I don't know who he, who he faced. Anyway, ADCC aspirations. Gold medal? Yeah, I mean, gold, gold medal. Gotta, gotta What's do the plan? Gold. Well, for me, it's winning the trials. I've never been winning. to ADCC, yeah. so I would have to win the trials. It's a big task. Definitely a big task. It's a task. tall order. Yeah, it's harder but, and harder um, every year, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't do too bad the last two trials. Like, yep. uh, I got to the quarters, like day two with quarters. Tackett. That was East Coast, yeah, with Tackett. Fuck, man. That was a close match, too, because uh, I got and really then close to... Tackett won West Coast, so... Yeah, you know? got really close to... Like I got a, I think a few pop on his arm, like on the arm bar, like straight yeah. But I was not patient enough. Like I should have took the back, you know. Yeah. Things you learn. Yeah. yeah. And the reset, Experience. I was totally uh, I stupid. Remember, remember? Yeah, he scored because my reset was. I didn't tell the ref like I, I want to get reset in the right position. Yeah. And then West Coast, I did second day, but round, we were more so round of thirty two, but not far, but definitely just gotta get better doing the opens is helping it's good practice yeah, yeah that's another practice, thing i was gonna say I forgot, like yeah I, I agree i'd rather not pay to compete at this point in my career for sure but like it's a really good experience and if if there's nothing on the horizon and it's right there in dallas like yeah i'd look, consider doing it i have a match signed uh so i i'm not going to now mm -hmm. but Otherwise, can you announce it? Thin. No, I not can't. Yet. Yeah, I don't know when. Say it. <laughs> Say it. Say it. <laughs> it was a big, big, uh, big match. Hopefully, get this fucking belt. It'll yeah, be good man. For something somewhere. <laughs> that, stop, stop talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I was about to say a good uh, example, man. like, yeah. like to give credit where it's due. Like Taz has been doing all the opens like, almost in the U.S. and and he's very doing active. really well. Yeah, like he won two out of three. A lot of submissions and against like other ADCC competitors, like for sure you pay to compete, but at the same time it's like he has to do trials, right? So yeah. he's preparing himself. So uh, I think it's like for me who never won trials, I, it makes sense to do them because it's like good it's practice. Preparation fix, for trials. Fix yeah. the the issues I have before, before trials. trials. Yeah. Uh, get better at the rule set, but sure. it's cool. uh, yeah, it's I understand too from a perspective where you get paid to compete. Yeah. Like, I, I'm not in the same situation as you guys, but uh, I think it's good experience for sure, yeah. It's definitely a good experience. And I remember, like, the days where I was competing every month, every weekend at some point, I was, like, obviously maybe I was overdoing it at a certain point, but when you're, when yeah. you're like, in your in full your swing, like, when you guys were doing wrestling, you know, you'd compete very often, right? Uh, yeah, like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's, it's crazy. 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 You feel, like, I felt so good. I felt like I don't, I don't even... Under the nerves were out the window. It was just another day. I would just like bring my snacks, start the first match, break the ice, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's the biggest you issue know? I find in grappling is like you can compete every week or every two weeks, but like it's a lot of like traveling. It's not with like an institution like the school yeah. or like the college. Yeah. But for sure, it helps. Like I try to compete at least once a month, like at, at the very least, just to 
find that what we were yeah. talking about find that 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 groove but it's not yeah, it's not easy man i gotta travel all the time especially yeah. like in montreal now it's gonna start again but like i'm so happy it's dude i have to come montreal. to the u.s all the time to compete yeah that's the only way yeah and when i move to austin then they start competing in montreal fuckers man yeah but it's smaller comps you know like yeah. it's not something you would do now i would honestly if i was in montreal i would you don't think so i don't believe you a grappling industries nah no chance you come would. on okay bro come on nah, no, ethan you would you would sign up to a grappling industries in montreal I'll fucking do it just because we had this conversation <laughs> <laughs> probably you wouldn't do it maybe nah, nah you're maybe. pussy <laughs> now i have to do it i fucking have no choice <laughs> I'll go with the mindset like I hate my opponents. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. Yeah, hate yeah, them. Make yeah. them kick rocks. Yeah, make them kick rocks. Make them yeah, I, going back to that, I I cannot hate my opponent. I don't care. I just I would, like. I'd fi maybe it's easier. This guy's trying to kill you. No, I appreciate no, them because they make me better. Submit. You know what I mean? He's trying to He's trying to hurt you. You nah. can't. You're going to let this guy be. You're going to befriend the yeah. enemy? Yeah. Kill him with kindness. Sure <laughs> then <him> break <laughs> his leg. If they actually die, then it's where it works. Uh, right? Yeah. I was kind. He died. Yeah. I won. <laughs> no, but for real, like I, I, I never. He's I not trying to kill you. You should do one match, like, like you hate this guy. I won't believe and myself. See how I will not yeah, believe. My, if I, I tell myself like. I hate this guy. I'll be like, ha, you're lying. <laughs> I'll be like, ha, ha, you're an idiot. <laughs> Why do you hate him? He didn't do anything. <laughs> I think you can con convince yourself that this guy's really trying to hurt you, and that would cause it. He's got a knife. I think there's a part of me that doesn't believe they can hurt me. I'm like, not that I think oh, I'm invincible. Cool I, that, that's I'm pretty invincible. much my. <laughs> Nicky Rod's like, oh, you think you're this? I'm, I'm with you on that. Okay, I'm, I'm on, on board. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for real. Like sometimes, like. I don't know. I know like they could, but I just feel like I'm gonna escape. I, I'm super confident in my escape and my yeah, like yeah. people enter my my legs and my and they try arm bars and shit like that. And I I've, I still do it. I I do a lot of situational. And every time someone enters my leg, I'm like, ha, you're stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> break you. <laughs> I'm honestly relatively uh, emotionless when I when I can. I am emotionless when I can be. I definitely wanna wanna hurt them, but you know, I don't go out of my way risk anyway. yeah you don't go crazy about like yeah. you, you're not ang angry yeah no but if i get it i'm gonna take it you know yeah for sure like if i look if Even i grab if, a submission box running you know? dude if i grab a submission in competition there like there's no holding back man oh, yeah, like yeah. i just explode everything i can <laughs> yeah. right for real no you need to because they're gonna do you're gonna do yeah 100%. they would do it to you they're yeah going they're... To do it to you yeah they're gonna <laughs> do it to you too <laughs> <laughs> specialties <laughs> yeah but i just i just can't see myself hating the person no. i don't know i it's just i replay it's their specialties like, <laughs> it's their specialties Tees. i definitely Tees? It, that's a word a it's, it's, it's not a word man. not a word it's not a word well, you never heard somebody say this guy is a specialist no like an artist no a specialist a special no a specialist. you're saying a specialist it, you said ar artist wrong you said like, artist artist, artist. <laughs> you've never heard of artist i'm just it's the same word I'm just that's like it. the funny way to say it it sounds like me trying to say it's french an artist an artist there you go Artiste. Artiste. That's like the fun, like English pretending to be yeah. French. It's like, Yo, say uh, croissant. Croissant. <laughs> croissant. <laughs> Don't, croissant. Bagel. <laughs> Donut. Same thing. Artiste. Specialties. Do you guys do, you do the chocolate croissant? Uh, chocolatine. Chocolatine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So good. Yeah. Actually, so good, the yeah. French the French call it pain au chocolat. Which pain is au chocolat. Bread au chocolate. <laughs> Is that it, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, really, it's really it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it, it means like bread of chocolate. <laughs> yeah. That's how it's right. Chocolate bread. Just yeah. chocolate yeah. bread. No, right? bread of chocolate. Oh, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. Uh, yeah, chocolate said it's pretty good, man. Is it like a dark chocolate, milk chocolate? You have it's some with a dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Yeah. The there's best. a there's the a thing. so not crazy sweet, just semi sweet. Just a little bit, a little, yeah, yeah, just enough. But but there's so much butter in there. Yeah, like in the in the in the in the dough. In the, yeah, exactly. Crispy. Crispy. Flaky yeah. and crispy yeah. and buttery. Yeah, and it's like and they sweet. they coat it with like a little egg yolk and yes. they crisp yeah, it yeah. up and they get a nice glaze. Oh on. man, there's a probably once or twice a year I'll get a croissant. Dude, you once can't handle that. You can't. Your arteries, yeah, that's man. That's what I'm saying. Once or oh twice a year. yeah, it's too much. Since the blood is it's too thick, right? 
Okay. Yeah, it's watered it's down. It's not now. in the blood. <laughs> it's not in the blood. Quitting is not in the blood. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it's crazy how I just changed my diet a little bit. Like I'm just eating a little bit less food, and I got I got much leaner. Have leaner. you um, have you done other blood tests since then to check uh, how how it's going? Yeah. So uh, the only thing that, that was messed up is my cholesterol. Um, but the other stuff that like more place where they said that was wrong, well, like uh, the hemoglobin or something like that, it was all related to my. I didn't do like a full fast, and I had like mm. I think I had some of the grapes in the morning or whatever. So I fucked up like the things that look like sugar, yeah, diabetic yeah. and stuff. So not like not necessarily pre diabetic, but cholesterol was definitely high. So I just changed um change a, a bit of my diet trying to get less saturated fat and I'll pro after this competition I'll probably get blood work done yeah we had a mountain of fried chicken like two days ago yeah yeah, yeah. but I but, just so everyone yeah. knows. saturated fat no but more. I only eat like that you know it's like one, a couple yeah, times it's not, a month not yeah, often yeah. 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 less in and out well, yeah. like no in and out I'm, right. I'm scared every time I drive by like I hide in the shadows yeah. Yeah. your <laughs> heart scared. your heart goes <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, um, the thing is, like, I yeah. felt great no matter what. Like, what, whatever I was eating, I felt like, especially, like, on the red meat, I felt like I was performing fantastic. Yeah, I think it's you know? maybe more of a long-term thing, you know? Yeah, it's definitely that's, that's, right, it's, yeah. Yeah, right now, you're feeling great, but, like, Do if you, you keep notice? going in 20 years, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I, would, I think I can, can continue to compete for a long time, so I'm definitely trying to stay you know, as healthy as possible. Yeah. How, how much... Um, of a factor do you think nutrition like overall is not like if, if you're cutting weight obviously you're gonna miss weight if you don't eat correctly but like for for like everyday performance not longevity for like even even for like <clears throat> for performance nutrition is vital but also i think for staying healthy like having a great immune system is attributed to That's you know fair, yeah. the correct diet. recovery hydration yeah yeah. Uh, like that. So, yeah, yeah yeah definitely i for myself like i feel if i have like shitty food or like i'll feel shitty Oh, the day after, I, I feel yeah. it right away, and I feel the difference. And people that says they don't feel a difference, I, I don't believe them, man. It's like if you, <laughs> dude, if you just it's a lie. eat like <laughs> calling me a lie, <laughs> calling me a lie. You don't feel like like Bro, groggy like, or like shitty after like a like the fried chicken. I oh, felt yeah. like shit. Wait, yeah. Imme immediately, I, I would just say yeah. like I could definitely like because I the why I have high cholesterol is because I was when I first started lifting like in like 2014. Um, I started, or maybe 2015, I started lifting, and my goal was to get as big as possible. So I just ate my body weight and protein, sometimes more, oftentimes more than mm -hmm. that. Uh, and mainly. 230 was, pounds of protein? Gra well, grams. No, gram per pound. <laughs> uh, All right. Yeah, so gram per pound. Um, but yeah, I would eat that, and mainly in like red meat, and then. And then just kind of you know eat whatever else, but I think just having the abundance of red meat and no no fiber really, not really like you know eating vegetables and shit with that it. That, that, that might probably, be why. Yeah. That's probably why. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. they say right. Cancer right. I think there. they say right. Like, like the the red meat, the issue is like it stays in your gut, and the fiber helps after like clean that out, right? I think we we're the, talking about that. Yeah, at some yeah, point, yeah. yeah. The uh, like meat produces it literally like it'll it'll will give you cancer if you don't eat other things to like produce other kinds of and it helps just clean out your gut it, yeah like the, the fiber the fiber yeah. pushes yeah. the shit out you eat vegetables now yeah for okay, sure good. now i you like every him? time i yeah i like them every time i eat uh meat protein i have vegetables with it good good Carbon i think vegetable. that's a good way to yeah just before it was just fruit balance, i would just eat like mainly just meat and fruit but i don't think it's nearly as much fiber as like no, an avocado no, or not yeah. a lot yeah for sure spinach and shit yeah, yeah i definitely uh when i'm like I, not when i'm cutting weight but when i'm just in a good routine like i'm eating not the identical thing but like similar things every day healthy foods healthy foods good fiber i'm not eating out like at all like even if it's a healthy restaurant i just it's not as good as if i just make yeah, it myself sure. at home yeah um i for yeah, sure even, feel better even, i feel I, like i recover better i sleep better yeah. everything's sleep is yeah. vital especially for it's like most yeah, important. yeah yeah it definitely is the most important yeah in my yeah. opinion but i'm i'm like i sleep really well and as soon as i like miss a few hours let's say i'm traveling or i'm fucked right yeah. away yeah. yeah it's the difference i'd rather crazy. sleep well than eat well if i had to like sacrifice so you had one, to choose yeah for sure yeah, I'm for sure gonna sleep better yeah you jay how you feel when you eat crap like like yesterday we had uh raising canes uh, I think I'm more affected by my sleep schedule being messed up. Yeah. Um, I feel like right now, I, I think it's just because I'm young. I don't really feel very affected by my diet too much. Um, that being said, I have stopped eating candy, as we all know. But, turning uh, a new leaf. Yes, yeah, turning a new leaf. <laughs> a spinach leaf. <laughs> <laughs> we have this uh, potential B-team 
camping trip coming up. Oh yeah, yeah. Camping yeah. trip, camping, yeah. yeah. In so a tent, like, in literal. We're gonna poop real, in the woods. Real camping, yeah, yeah, leaves. real camping. The they, spinach leaf too. Wipe our I would just find like a body of water. I'm not gonna <laughs> smear <laughs> shit with a leaf. I smear. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what's the plan? Yeah, I think we're just going to. So we have a couple options, right? We could go to actual like campgrounds where the, we get pick a site and they have like fresh water and shit like that, or we could just go to a state park where we're really going to be camping. We're middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere, like an hour away from town, where we have we're relying on, um, you know, the things that we packed and you know the potential of catch, yeah. catching food in the lake. Yeah. You think? We okay, so dinner. we were talking about this. So you're not going to bring food. If if I go, I'm not gonna bring food. You're I'm, crazy. I'm packing food. I'm packing food. Yeah, you gotta pack food. You gotta pack food. You're screwed. Yeah. You're not gonna. Ca- you're probably I'll not catch, catch my fish. own food. If uh, you what's don't, your, what's your ratio of times that you went fishing to times that you caught fish? It depends on where I'm going. Okay, let's do this instead of catches. Let's do by weight. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I've got 700 pounds of fish caught total. I've gone fishing maybe 10 times. I think that's a win. It's a lot of weight. Check if me. you get there, so and listen, you set the up. The only camp. thing I'm bringing extra is marshmallows. That's very calorically dense. It's yes. good and That's chocolate. Very light and no, to ch- chocolate isn't that. Yeah, but you're you gonna bring a s'more. Or you're just gonna roast marshmallows. marshmallow. Uh, s'mores, you know, epic, though. So golden. You gotta bring yeah, golden. Uh, you know, roasted marshmallow with chocolate and graham crackers. Yeah, <laughs> <That finish. laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on. Nah. <laughs> You eat, if much. you eat a marshmallow Bro. and then immediately after you eat a s'more, you're like, holy shit, this s'more this is so much better. So yeah. much better, <laughs> yeah. Sure. You're going to get there. We're going to set up camp. We're going to be exhausted from and I'm gonna be traveling. Fishing. We're going to be calorically <laughs> at a, a huge deficit. You're going to go out there and start fishing. Meanwhile, we're going to be like, okay, unpack our food, restock, set up camp, sleep. You're going to be like, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Come on. It's going to be like midnight. He's yeah. Still fishing. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I feel like on. I have to. I have to. Yeah, yeah I mean, give it a try. Yeah. But when you're when Maybe. if it fails, I got you. We pack food. I got the marshmallow, older brother. Marshmallow. Big brother is gonna yeah. take take care of you. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be good. We might vlog it too. I think that'd be, that would be, be nice. Yeah, that would be yeah. And I bet we could get a lot of people. We just take like, I don't know, probably like <laughs> the entire it. gym. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. <Yeah. laughs> the <laughs> more pe- honestly, the more people, the better. Because yeah. you could carry it. more shit. You have you're more fun. Yeah, it's so much more fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Only go. Nikki Rod ends up going. He's like, his son's <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like in a hotel nearby. Nikki Rod's like, I have imagine, yeah. imagine Craig comes. To Craig will oh never, would never. It would be a million years. He'd pull up in the fucking million dollar RV. Yeah. yeah. He'd be yeah. like, How's it going in there, you cunts? Fucking yeah. <laughs> 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 throwing chips at us and uh, shit. Uh, he but imagine, each- imagine he yeah. comes in a I tent. would love that. It would be so funny. Man. That would be great. He'd probably yeah. learn a lot about him. So he probably wouldn't be as much of a piece of <laughs> <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> you know? Like, I'm one with nature. There's probably no service out there. He's forced to put the yeah. phone away. Oh, fine. Impossible. Impossible. What's he, he's just going to stand there like this, like, yep. I'm missing something. <laughs> yeah. he, sta- he sits like this. He goes on his phone like this. Upright. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. You always think he's it filming. Like you yeah, always right? think he's filming. So then always. he gets you off guard. So you're like, you do some, you start picking your nose or something. Yeah. And he's like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking guy. I think it's on purpose. On purpose, he, he goes does. like he's like definitely. Shit, like. It desensitizes so you, yeah, so you're yeah. just like, yeah, I guess I like normal. I'm yeah. not gonna fucking <laughs> continuously think I'm being filmed. That's yeah. a little. He makes you think like you're narcissistic. Like he's filming me. Like, oh wait, no, am I just? Everything's about me right now. And then he's like, oh, gotcha. you become self conscious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Question every choice. Oh, How long we've been going for? Uh, One forty. We can wrap it up. One forty. You guys think anything else? Any burning questions? Any last things you guys want to add in here? We got fucking Peo with us. We got the foot sweep champ of B team. Oh yeah, he I got, left oh, with a, a fucking vengeance last time. He oh, left with some highlight reels. So man. funny. Th- those reels uh, we were talking about that yesterday. Oh, yes. They got ripple. so many followers oh, yeah. from that. Just yeah, people cool. love a foot sweep. It's so yeah. effortless, bro. The amount of people has been asking me. They're like. Teach me how to foot sweep. I'm like, I'm like a blue belt at foot sweep. I, I <laughs> Dude, I'm not good at that. Mike them. FDM, yeah. like, showed Mike you. Yeah. is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Like, obviously, Judo, the, Mike. Judo, you guys national team member. Yeah. yeah. But, like, in my mind, I'm like, you guys don't know. That's good foot sweep. I'm just, like, spamming the leg kick until yeah. someone <laughs> just falls <laughs> into it. <laughs> I'm, I'm a wrestler, and I have people asking me about more, like, judo stuff than, yeah. than like, you know, wrestling. I always say, like, 
judo is more aesthetically pleasing yes. than wrestling for sure it's a, it's a more like beautiful tougher. sport right yeah, uh, yeah. but so i think that's why people like it's aesthetic to look at yeah. like someone like hit you guys ever seen like those judo highlights like it's crazy, crazy yeah. trolls like, yeah, like super high amplitude like, yeah it's so nice to look at so i think that's why like yeah. first it's that's why people like to look at it and then they want it they want to learn it yeah it's on your website uh i have a few on my website yeah i was thinking of building actually uh like instructional about it it's just i feel like i don't have that much knowledge because like mike was showing me some setups that you have to line up few foot sweeps mm -hmm. all together because oh, one yeah. is hard right like you gotta it's a call chain. the guy yeah it's a chain so he so goes cool. like uh i don't remember all the name but like he goes uh inside the guy steps out goes on the outside the guy steps out again and then he has a third one so he, it's like jitsu right you hit him yeah. at the chain. third yeah chain ch like chain wrestling yeah, same yeah. idea so you can chain foot sweep yeah pretty cool but so, tough very tough to do man. Yeah. satisfying oh, satisfying because like so it's you, you pancake a guy and you're standing yeah. and it was like yeah. effortless. Jay, Jay had that that one on that uh on that guy where you foot, foot sweep to into Dars? a darts that that That's was your right, most yes. viral no it's what's not? your most viral my most viral is just like hip throw to arm toss bar? no 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 my most viral is just like this guy stand, has standing rear body lock i grab far lat and just like throw him <laughs> oh, <say God. laughs> Just simple stuff. Yeah. Just oh, yeah. yeah, simple and effortless. But, that but seems the, like... the foot sweep to Darce was yes. crazy. That, that one's very. It was like uh, I love that one. <clears throat> yeah, effortless, like no friction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no friction at all. Like from one move to the other. It's appealing. Like, yeah. like you see that, and you're like, wow, it looks so easy. And they looks like, cool too. Yeah, live vicariously through that. Like they yeah. want to do it's that. Like I want to do this. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, on my website, so Leclerc, yeah. my last name, LeclercJiu.com. <laughs> Just check it out. Like, we'll put the subscribe. Link. We'll put the link in the Thank thing. Thank you, boys. I appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, for sure. Anything else where uh, you're competing? You're not. You're. Everyone's scared of you, man. Fucking hell. Even with I'm, I, bro, I, I, when I, when I popped my rib, I was like, oh, thank God, I don't have to train with Jay Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, man. We'll try to get some rounds this week. That we had eight minutes of death. That was such a good round. It was. Nuts. I like. I don't even know what what happened. Yeah, but it it's was like it was when great. you have a so ridiculous sick. dream and you wake up and you're just there like sipping your well you don't drink coffee but you're just there like drinking special tea special <laughs> fucking tea and you're just like what just happened yeah. in my brain <laughs> it's insane. Anyway, Fuck. that's it. We'll wrap it up. Yep. You've yep. been simplified by us and our friend Pierre Olivier. Thank you guys. Thank yep. you, Rod. Yep. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye bye. Boom. Yeah, that was fun, cool. man. Good shit. Oh, thank you. Thank Done so. Oh, that was good.